All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. And we are back again with another live watch along. We've got Chelsea versus upon us FA Cup quarterfinal match. Um, yeah, looks like uh, you know if we if we win this, we're into the semi-finals, and uh, we are getting closer and closer to yet another. Uh, final, I suppose, in the domestic cup. So let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can avoid one of those big dogs. It'll be very, very difficult, obviously, to avoid them. But nonetheless, we are here. We're here. Hopefully, we have a very good game and hopefully Chelsea win. Uh, big up to each and every one of you guys that have joined at the moment. Uh, and the, to the members, if you want to call in, you can do that as well. So from the get-go, we can have members call in, show up and running. Uh, the link is in the community page, so do make sure you go out there, click the link, and join the call-in show. Benji, my man, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, <sighs> Your sound's a bit off, bro. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, bro, I'm doing good, to be honest. Uh, mm. I can't complain. You know, this team... You know, this club, this manager, you know, today I just want to watch the game with a straight face. I just, yeah, you know, straight face, just let, let's just watch the game, win maybe by two goals, three maybe, and let's just keep it moving because it's very uh, early here in Sweden, and I can actually imagine it's very, very early in England too, so. This yeah, what time is it in Sweden? Uh, 12.16. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's midday. It's midday. Yeah, okay, it's, fair enough. yeah, it's midday. Um, but do you know what? Like, I, I don't know about you. I'm not, I'm not trying to be arrogant. Or I'm not trying to be too overconfident. But I'm quietly confident we should do the drop here. Like, I'm not too worried about, you know, some of the other previous championship teams that we played. They were in good form, and I was a little bit worried. But with Leicester, they're not yeah, really in the best of form. Um, they've got some key injuries as well. Look, and you never know. FA Cup's a mad, mad, you know, competition. We saw what happened to Wolves yesterday. Coventry, they were so, so good. So anything can happen. We shouldn't take them lightly. We shouldn't be complacent. But I'm quietly confident that we should do the job here. I agree. Uh, to be honest, I agree. Um, Miz, if we lose today, if this team just... Do some fuckery. Excuse me. I can't swear. <laughs> do some yeah. stupid stuff and do some crazy things. Is I'm going to get my ass cooked on Twitter because I've been talking so much shit. I've been like, <laughs> yeah, we're going to save this season. We're going to go to the FA Cup final. And we're going to win that shit. And we, I've been talking so much shit because when I think about it, I don't know how you guys are because I haven't, you know, seen a lot of, you know, uh, posts and all that but mm. I now when I think about it and I've been asking all my friends like yo what's going on at Chelsea because I don't think Posh is leaving like the more he talks I really really think that this we're gonna guy we're going to talk about uh, this we're going to talk about this bro. I really I'm... do believe this guy is staying he ain't going nowhere like I'm thinking that way as well massively and we're going to yeah. talk about this Valen my man how you doing brother no Chelsea for what eight, eight days. It's been pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a bit strange, bro. I, I don't know about you, Valen, man. I, I was telling the lads the other day, Eunice and Matisse, uh, just before all you can eat Chelsea. I don't I don't have that same excitement of watching Chelsea anymore, man. Like when just when Chelsea score a goal, I'm like, yeah, great. When we win, yeah, we're 11th still. I don't know about you, bro. Like that excitement's just been sapped away from my life. It's I feel like I enjoy a lot more when I'm watching other games, like other teams. Yeah. Um, is that the same with you as well, Bella? I mean, I, I really feel that I've lost connection with the club. Like yesterday yeah. I was watching Coventry against Wolves and my uh, God, me too. Did you watch did you watch the final ten minutes? Bro, what a game, bro. Right what right a game. game. What a game. What a mad game that was, bro. I loved right. it. Clutch. 
I loved it. Absolutely loved it, man. Uh, when was the last time we felt like that about Chelsea, man? It's just, it's sad. It's sad. Um, Benji, you brought up a point about this manager potentially staying. I, I want to go to Valen first, then I'll come back to uh, Benji. Big up to the live chat, by the way. I'm going to take some of your comments very, very soon. Um, keep pumping out the comments and smash the like button. Let's try and get to 100 likes already. We've got nearly 100 people live already. So let's get to 100 likes. If you're here for the first time as well, subscribe. As Valen keeps saying, the chase, the run, the 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 you know the road we to 40k. Come on, 40K let's do it. 40 points. 40k or 40 points. <laughs> I'd like to think 40 points, bro. But Valen, I, I'm I've been. I've been a little bit confused recently. I'm like, this club has mentally scarred me, man. Like, it's really uh, screwed up my my thought process. I absolutely dislike Pochettino. I don't, I don't like the way he talks. I don't like his tactical inability, basically. He doesn't have any sort of tactical awareness. I feel like he's, he's not capable of competing against some of the best you know, managers out there or even up-and-coming managers out there. But I just get the feeling from the news that I'm seeing, from the way our board is moving, our owners are moving, the way Poch has been talking recently, it feels like he's going to stay around. I don't know. I just get that feeling. And on top of that, it's not like the olden days where we had the experienced players that can just cope with constant changes. I don't know whether these young players that we have now, are they capable of coping with constant changes? I feel like some of these players, maybe they like Poch. I don't know. I mean, Valen, what's your thoughts, man? Do you think this guy is going or I just get the feeling he's probably going to stick around for another season? I mean, we all, we all know that Pochettino has a contract, right? So in his mind, he's going to assume that his contract, he'll be lasting till his contract is expired. Mm -hmm. I mean, like Graham Potter for last season, we saw him coming out, making fun of the crisis meetings and a few games later, he ultimately got sacked. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this kind of, this kind of talks and all, I, I, I don't think Pochettino is necessarily staying, but I don't think that the directors are giving him the impression that they want to get rid of him yet. Mm -hmm. Especially Ekbali. I, I feel like these, especially Bali. I think he likes him. I don't know why I get oh, this feeling. Man, uh, this guy, yeah, man. This guy yeah. is the one. Bali is going to Saudi Arabia and trying to beg them to get rid of our place. What the hell is Bali doing? Yeah, man. Bali seems like he's got all the chips, man. He's the one who's controlling the football club. Um, Benji, you've been saying you kind of feel maybe Poch is sticking around. Why you feel like that? Explain that to me, man. As believe it or not, I I just have some nasty feeling that because if we get the of games, we actually don't have you know the hardest. Fi we just have our Arsenal, Tottenham, Manchester United. That's the only like hard hard games like we can actually lose. Like the rest of them, we should at least get a draw or win. Like, at least, at a minimum. But I know how this team works, so that ain't going to happen. But, but somehow, I just believe that Poch, gonna, he's going to come like 8th or 7th somehow. Maybe get the, you know, FA Cup and finish ninth. Because if he do that, you think I'm sorry, but he's staying. Cup? He's staying because, every, like, I've been telling everybody, Posh, he just needs to come, like, reach within the top eight because the owners, they just wanted to see improvement from the last season. So, basically, if mm -hmm. we finish, like, 10th, nah, that ain't so much. But if we finish, like, 8th or 7th, that's a huge improvement for the owners' eyes. So, of course, they're going to keep Poch. And the fun fact is the players really, really like Pochettino. But now it's not, for me, it's not really about the players because it's about the whole club. Like, for example, when we had Sorry, when we had Sorry, Sorry played some, he played some exceptional football. But this guy, he just didn't connect with us. So that led to him being sacked. Even though he won us a trophy, it led to him being sacked. And mm. we've had so many other managers that we have connected with right away. And we haven't won anything. But we wanted them to stay because we believed in them. 
Mm. So, like, for me, that's the difference. So, I wouldn't really mind if Posh got sacked, to be honest. But uh, I, I really don't think he's going to get sacked. He, he's just going to see through the season. Maybe we change manager. I hope we don't get to Zerbi uh, because he will just kick up with us. He just... The Zerbi, he just reminds me of this uh, Antonio Conte. When, like, if he don't get his way at a bigger club, he's just going to create a fuss. And no, I don't not, that. not just that with with De Zerbi, I feel like look, I I, I rate De Zerbi a lot. I, I actually think he's a very very good manager. But I think De Zerbi got really lucky with that Brighton team that was already set up in a way where they were playing good possession based football under Graham Potter. De Zerbi, when if he if he does come to this Chelsea team, this Chelsea team is quite diabolical at the moment, man. Like it's. They don't know really how to hold on to the ball. They don't really control the opposition. De Zerbi will have to start from scratch, and I'm not really sure whether he's going to get the the results from the get-go. And then we're yeah. going to be in a situation where fan base are going to be upset because this guy is not producing the results. We're going to be losing games. I, I'm scared. Like, it'll Do happen. you think Pochettino stays if we, if we fumble the Jordan deal? Whose fault would it be, though, like, Valen? I mean, is the Jordan deal all on Pochettino or or the owners, the board, making all of these silly, you know, decisions? Bring They, they shouldn't have brought in Poch from the get-go. Like, that's my belief. So right. why is Poch taking the heat for the Jordan deal? That should be the owners and the board taking the heat for bringing in so many young players. Like, do you know what I mean, Valen? Like, it's just, it's a mess, man. Like... Yeah, I completely agree. I completely agree. And I just wanted to add something that um, a lot of people said, oh, why well, didn't get like, you know, when we got Graham Potter, I would have mm. rather got Potch back then so he could fix his type of squad. So he so his squad could be ready for this season. And then if mm. you failed this season, it's just like, OK, yeah, not, off you go. Um, if. If we screwed we Potter. We screwed Potter by giving him like forty so players. many players too. Yeah. yeah, and I completely agree with that. But for me, Potter was there tactically, but he wasn't there. You know, I don't know if I should say he, something. He couldn't about... connect with the fans, right? Yeah, he couldn't connect the with the fans. He yeah. th that's the other factor. He couldn't connect with the fans. And then when those losses just multiplying, um, you know, the the owners gave in. So. TC, my man, let me bring you in. How's things, bro? It's been a while. What's good, boys? How are we doing? We're doing, good, man. We're Shout doing, bro. TC. We're doing, good, bro. bro. That, that's pretty yeah. much Do it. Do I sound all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sound perfect, man. You sound perfect. Easy. Yeah, um, just, you know, going through it, my man. Going through the depression of Chelsea. Just the usual. Yeah, like, I just... Just that excitement of watching a Chelsea game, man. Oh, it's God damn it. It's just gone. Like, it's just, it, it feels like a response, like a chore. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like a responsibility. We need to watch it. We watch it. Not that we are very, very excited by it because uh, we win. Okay, we're in the semi finals. Then what's going to happen? We're pretty, probably going to face either one of Man City or Liverpool. Who knows? I mean, if we can get lucky with Coventry. And even if we do get lucky, Potentially going to be a Liverpool or Manchester City in the final anyway. Like, yeah, we yes. we're just going to put ourselves through that misery again for the Carabao Cup. Um, I don't this know team whether got me watching their film of okay? This team has me watching their <laughs> film now. Okay, I have to go find some excitement somewhere else because I just can't. I just can't. Although, although I still haven't turned. I still haven't turned on Poch. For some reason, I still have not hand on him. What What's your feeling? Do you think Do you think he should stick around? Do you think he needs to go? Do you think the owners are looking to get rid of him? Like, what's your thought process around the whole managerial situation? My uh, My honest thoughts is that he is probably going to stay, mm -hmm. and I the way I'm looking at it is we've gone through quite a few managers in the space of like three years. These players are... We've already gone through quite a few managers under the new owners. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is not the Chelsea of old. We understand that. Um, I'm I'm willing to give Porch a second season just to see what he can come up with. 
Mm. But if that fails, you know, it, I don't know what to do after that. But I haven't turned on him because none of this is his fault. Like, it's it's not I mean, his look, fault. Some parts are probably his fault, but I wouldn't say every single thing is his fault. In-game management, using players in weird positions, uh, not trying to get the best out of the midfielders that he has. There are certain yeah. definite faults that he has. I'm not even going to lie about that. But he's also been handicapped by giving all of these um, young players, um, which makes it very difficult to operate. DK is ZK. Thank you so much for the super chat, my man. Big up, Ms. Bro. God bless you and your fam. Always appreciate that a lot. My man, Alhambra, is in the house. I've been wanting to speak to this brother for a while. Alhambra, first of all, Ramadan Mubarak, my brother. How are you doing? Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Mubarak, um, Ramadan Mubarak to everyone in the chat and in the panel that's fasting. Mm. Um, but, uh, you know, us as a fan base, we are in a permanent fast, fast <laughs> of success, <laughs> of trophies, you know. Uh, so, uh, so we all know what it feels like to go hungry. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I mean, look, I've uh, taken a bit of a hiatus uh the last actual game I actually watched for the full 90 minutes plus was um the Carabao Cup final wow um, and so i've just been it's quite crazy busy. alhambra isn't it like how disconnected all of us are like i was just telling the panel that for me it's like a chore watching chelsea like i feel more excited watching other clubs like, when they play like cuz we win we 11th we lose we 11th we go through the competition. If we're in the final, we lose. Like, I just, it's, it's just no excitement, bro. There really isn't any excitement. And you know what the funny thing is? You know, it's like, we've, we've been to a final, right? And there's a potential for another Wembley, like, visit if we beat Leicester. But there's still not any excitement. Like, we've, we've had seasons where we've only won the FA Cup. Mm. Um, and there's been more excitement. Yeah. Than than in this season, um, so it's definitely not about the cups. I don't think the cups are going to. I think even if we win the FA Cup, I'm not so sure. If to be honest, I won't be excited. Give a shit. Yeah, yeah. won't you give a shit? That's the funny I mean, thing. Perhaps yeah. if we can beat. Look, the thing is, we're not even going to win. Like, why? Why are we even entertaining this thought? Like, it's <laughs> either going to be. See, the, as soon as I want to think that we're going to win this, I go. It's probably going to be Manchester City or Liverpool in the final anyway if we go all the way. If we don't end up I facing them. Don't play Leicester, miss. Exactly. Like, don't, let's not disregard Leicester. Okay, not. Let us not disregard Leicester. And by the we're way, not we're not done playing we, Leicester. Leicester, Leicester boys. And we we're face like Coventry. Leicester, Leicester actually beat Coventry. us in the FA Cup final not that long ago. Um, I, I, I'd still, like to believe. Them. Look, i like to believe we should. I don't know about... Well, I did say 3-0, so that is a spanking in the preview. Come on, um, guys. We should be. We should handle business today, man. We should handle business, but... This manager don't give me no confidence. <laughs> yeah. Our home form should give us some sort of confidence. Boys. Something. We're, give we're, me we're something at least. Home. We're decent but, at home. But lads, but lads, going back to the point. Let, let's just say we do go through, right? We go through to the semifinals. Then what? Like, then we could you potentially win. get Man City or Liverpool. I mean, if we get lucky, we get Coventry, no problems. Let's say we go past Coventry, then we go to the final against one of Man City or Liverpool, guaranteed. Then what? The funny thing is, is are we I just happy think... to just make it to the final? Like, are we just happy to be there? We're there. The Wembley day out. <laughs> it is. If it's Liverpool, I will just be like, yeah, screw it. I, I, won't, I won't even watch it. But if it's Man City, Man City, at least I can see us getting a chance of getting a win, at least. Because just get a goal, lock down Rodri, Haaland, you got to fix that somehow. And then you have the fullbacks taking care of the wings. But yeah. this is this is end of season Man City we're talking about, you know? yeah. They oh, don't yeah. lose. It's the end they of don't the lose season. from here yeah. on. Yeah. So pick I mean, your poison. And... Oh shoot! And they can do the treble again. They can do the treble again. They they look. 
I can't see Liverpool losing any more any matches. I can't see Manchester City losing any more any matches. I think they'll probably beat Arsenal uh, at the Emirates as well. Um, look, for me, prove me wrong, Poch. Prove me wrong, Poch. Prove me wrong, team. That's all I'm going to say. Like, I, I, I can't come here with a fake belief that we're going to do something. I really cannot. Just make in me... Order, in order for us to go do something, we must be delusional, boys. We have to be delusional to support this team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I swear to God. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm willing to, God. to be delusional for that God. trophy. I'm the, only thing, become the only thing I want from this from this manager and this team right now, just finish the season on a high. Like, that's that's everything we're asking for. Like, I, I, it shouldn't be that hard. Like, it, it just shouldn't. Like, it's not our fault that Poch effed it up for the first six months and played Cowell on the left back instead of Martin and played mm. Sterling a hell of a lot of games instead of Mudrick when Sterling was underperforming and wasn't mm. passing, you know, 2v1s and stuff. You know, when you don't get changes like that, the team's going to get comfortable. And Miz, you spoke about this so many times. This team, mm. it's like they're very comfortable. Like, they just... Putting up the training, right, training and, you know, just going home and being with yeah. the... Bro, bro, this team is way too comfortable. Like, there's got to be some type of pressure. Like, some type of pressure well, got to be added Poch, to this team. Poch has been saying, play without pressure. Remember, some of the press conferences, you know, I don't want the players to be with pressure. He no wants way, players to have no, no pressure. Did. You know, yeah, with know all the did. barbecues that he's, he's been holding and all of this stuff. Man. <sighs> Did he actually see that? Yeah, he yep. was saying not 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 this press conference, but he said that earlier on, right? But he, he had a barbecue, on. if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alhambra, um, brother, I wanted to ask you, uh, because I was asking the panel already about this. What do you think about Pochettino's future? Uh, I mean, I've been a little bit confused in recent times whether he's staying or whether he's going. I feel like all matters kind of indicate he's probably staying. That's because maybe I'm scrambled in my head. I'm not really sure. What's your what's your intuition saying whether he stays or not? And also, what do you think should happen in regards to Pochettino? Um, I I don't I don't think anything that Poch says is necessarily indicative of whether he stays at the end of the season. If you remember Potter for a long time, <laughs> was talking you, as if Alhambra. he was going to stay here for, for five years, mm. you know, including that infamous uh, joke he made about coming in from yeah, a crisis, crisis meeting. meeting. Yeah. You know, so it's, you're, you're good until you're not. And these things happen within hours, right? Like if, mm. you know, if you're in a situation where you're, let's say today, for example, God forbid you're out of the FA Cup against Leicester at home. Maybe you lose your next game, uh, which is <clears throat> next game is what's next in game? two weeks' time. In two weeks' time, yeah, it's Burnley. Burn, Burnley at home, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, let's say you get a draw there, or some that's not any result that's not a win. Basically, you know, the, the axe can fall on you very quickly. So I think, I think, I think managers always do this. Even when they're under pressure, they still presume that they'll be given time because why wouldn't they be given time? And then it's done. Um, I think right now, probably the internal debate that's going on, and this is again, just me just talking. I have no idea, obviously. I'm as informed as anyone here mm. about internal matters. But what I would imagine the debate would be, would be, first of all, we can't do it before the end of the season because um, that's additional cost. And we need to be yeah. basically in line for um, financial fair play and profit and sustainability measures. And the mm -hmm. second is, um, I I wonder if you know if these two sporting directors have a future either. What's interesting to me I is not a single do, signing I in January. I think they do, Alhambra. What makes you think they don't? Look, they're getting more power. Like they're getting empowered even more. Well, maybe, but the, the question I have is, why wasn't there any activity in January? 
Now, you could argue, oh, you know, finances, but you could have outgoings to fund incomings for sure. Mm. But who are you letting go? In terms of players? Yeah. I mean, bro, it could have been a sale, an outright sale. For example, Chalibur could have been an outright sale. Do, do you know what happened with Borea Alhambra? I think they're overestimate, like they're overpriced him. They priced yeah. him at fifty million. Fifty yeah, million. Yeah, oh, they they crazy. Fifty million for him. And, and 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 now they're looking at a situation where he's not even playing in uh, Fulham. He's I think he wasn't even in the squad. Yes, he wasn't even um, in the squad. But, but he, here's we, my here's my question for you, Ms. As well, and for the panel, right? Let's say that you had an amazing sporting director. And let's just say that you overpriced the player, right? So instead of 50 million, this guy is really worth 30. Maybe Chalibur's worth between 10 and 20. I don't know. Pick a number, right? Mm. So you're getting less money than than you imagined. Mm. If you had a solid sporting director, you'd probably think, you know what? Even if we get less, this guy's going to find me something. Mm. Right? This guy is going to be able to get me a, a player that's, value for money we yeah. don't need this guy to be going out with the full amount anyway so i'm just saying look i'm just it's just a just something that i've met because by the way you know we were hearing before the window this is a four window project mm -hmm, mm. we went through the third window i'm assuming they're using january as windows right yeah yeah so we just went through a third window with nothing we did nothing yeah we pretty much did nothing so either that means genuinely we are screwed financially, which is essentially against everything they've been saying, mm. or I don't think that they're looking at this current set of people, Poch and these two sporting directors, as really long term, um, you know, for, for the club. Now, how they go about it mm. is something else. Maybe it's that Win Stanley and Stuart stay and there's somebody else that comes to become the head it's possible right do, and do you have given one belief, more season do you have belief that i think it's been well established now that Iqbali is the one who controls everything at chelsea football club and Bali is really just a face do you have belief that Iqbali will do the right thing for chelsea i, I fully feel that this guy's backing Winston Lee and Lawrence Stewart and also backing Pochettino. Yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, he needs to deliver a return for his investors. Mm. And, and, he, and, you know, a big part of their return is going to be in the, in the value of the, of the club as an asset. Now, mm. you know, building a new stadium, it's neither here nor there for increasing the value of your of, of, of your club you know mm. Everton have a new stadium uh, you know Mashiri definitely did not make money from that investment right it's mm. about what goes inside that stadium the fans the obviously the success on the pitch I mean at yeah. the end of the day the core is success on the pitch yeah. it doesn't matter 100%. how great your stadium is that's how you're going to make money and in terms of um, you know over a 10 year period you can't just be relying on Premier League um, money because, you know, that's a lottery. And even if you were to assume that the Super League is going to be a thing, you might end up not even having the right to get invited to it if you don't perform well. So at yeah. some point down the line, this underperformance is going to hurt his pocket, 100%. his returns. And yeah. yes, Clear Lake is a very large fund. It has multiple investments in lots and lots of different industries. But this is a very sizable investment for them. This is not a small change in their portfolio. It's a, it's, them, it's, it, yeah, continue. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> it, 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 is, it is not it is not a uh, in I think I think they have a sixty I think they have a sixty billion wealth management um yeah. clear lake <coughs> and chelsea were what well, let's just say four million out of that so what percentage are we looking at um let me just do you're talking math. about a six or seven percent um per, uh, you know waiting that's yeah six percent six percent that that's that's not 
insignificant in a private equity fund. Yeah. Mm. Right. So I mean, for them, it's basically high risk and high reward in terms of the investment of Chelsea, because the fact that the club was so cheap and with the fact they have a 10 year release clause, if they can even quadruple or triple that value and sell it after 10 years, they've made a massive profit. I think that's how they're thinking. I think that's why we, you know, we're just influxing these young players and Todd Bowley believed that, oh, Champions League is just a regular thing that you get every year. And I, I'm just like, hmm, I'm just waiting because in a matter of time, we're going to fall heavy. Like now we're just like floating. We're floating. That's what we do. We're mm. floating between the mid table and, you know, the relegation. We're just basically floating with the relegation zone. It won't be like in a matter of time, we're just going to fall or we're going to bounce up. I'm just waiting for the bounce or I'm just waiting for the fall because I don't like nobody in this club know what's going on. Like no one, even even if you ask the insider, what's what's going to happen within like two years? We don't know. We actually don't know. In, pre, in the previous years, we can just say, yeah, in a couple of years, we, you know, we're going to challenge for the league. And, you know, it wasn't actually that long ago we challenged for the league. It was basically the 21-22 season when we had Lukaku and Lukaku decided to do that Italian BBC or press conference or whatever it was. And then we fell from there. So from now on, I'm like, I don't know where we're going. We're either falling or we're either like bouncing up. But these owners will have to hope that we bounce back. I think Alhambra is right. Uh, you cannot sustain continuing being 11th and 10th. And you do need to keep bouncing back. But we'll see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup is out. Sanchez in goalkeeping position. I'm not really surprised by that. It is a cup match. Um, perhaps um, he's, he's given an opportunity in this. And uh, Petrovic will continue in the Premier League. Malo Gusto, right back. Desasi, Chalabar, they continue, both of them. So... Look, I did predict that there won't be too many changes and looks like there isn't. I, I thought maybe Chalaba might be rested and Tiago Silva might get an opportunity here, but no, it's not that way. De Sassi and Chalaba continue. Kukurea is uh, what I predicted in my preview as well. He overall did really well against um, Newcastle the other day. Of course, he has that odd mistake where he just jumps the line and then you know gets beaten, the ball goes and, and, and we get done. That's something he needs to work on, Kukurea. But look, you know, overall, I think his performance was very good considering he's been out for so long. Caicedo and Gallagher in the middle. Enzo Fernandez is suspended. We all know he picked up a yellow card. Was it in the Premier League? Or no, I think it might have been in the Premier League. I was in the last FA Cup. I think it might have been uh, in the Premier against League. Aston Villa. Uh, against Aston Villa, there you go. Uh, Gallagher captains the team. Cole Palmer is there. Uh, Mudrik starts deservedly. Glad that he's getting an opportunity to start. Sterling potentially going to be on the left side. Uh, Palmer on the right side. Jackson up, up top and Mudrik just behind. So it's a very strong team uh, considering who's available. Um, we're, not, we're not taking this lightly and nor should we. In the bench, we've got Petrovic, Buddy Shield, Thiago Silva, Achiem Pong, Chilwell, Harrison, Chukomika, Madueke, Washington. A lot of people are saying... Why Sterling again? Why not? Well, I, I was actually thinking maybe Chukamika could be an, given an opportunity. The only reason I can think about why perhaps Sterling is, is that experience factor. But this guy, it doesn't seem like, regardless of what he does, uh, regardless of how much he flops, and let's be honest, there's a particular player you all know. I've got this irrational love for this player, um, but I'm not right, biased. Yeah, but I'm not biased. I, I know when he's not doing well. And in, in all honesty, all throughout this season, he has been consistently inconsistent. So oh, yeah. for some reason, he keeps starting. And um, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm never going to understand exactly why, besides the fact that he's, he's an experienced player. Um, we'll go around the table here. Uh, we'll start with Valen. Valen, what do you think about that lineup, bro? Honestly, means I feel indifferent. I don't feel connected with the lineup, man. <laughs> You're just over it, aren't you? You're just over yeah, it. Yeah, I don't even feel hate towards Pochettino anymore. I'm just like, when will this end? Yeah, and nah, I hear you, bro. I hear you. Um, TC, what do you think about that lineup? 
Uh, I'm happy that Chalaba's playing. That's one thing. Mm. Um, yeah, it's another day, Miz. It's another day in paradise. <laughs> what can I say? It's another day, <laughs> bro. It's want, another day. All I want is a nice, good spanking of Leicester City and we move on to the next game. That's all but, we can ask for. Yeah, it looks all right. I think I think it's a, it's a strong enough lineup for us to um to be able to beat them. Um, I wouldn't have I, I I would have really loved to see Petrovic play again, but you know we'll take Sanchez. It is what it is. Hmm. Yeah, I understand why Sanchez is coming on. I guess cup match. Yeah. Want to give him an opportunity? Um, Alhambra, this is the Leicester lineup. We got. Patson Dak up front. Mavi Didi is a player I've seen a few times this season. He looks like a live wire. Fatawu Winks, Jewsbury Hall has been pretty good as well this season. And Didi Doyle, Vestergaard Fares, Hamza Chaudhry, my countryman from Bangladesh, is the captain uh, as well for Leicester. And Stolarski, or however you pronounce that, it, it's an overall team that doesn't really scare me too much um and considering our lineup that we just saw we should be doing the trick what's your feeling alhambra looking at both the lineups um i mean look the the, the lineup the chelsea lineup i think is it's it's fine I, you know i think the problem the problem with sterling um i think is mostly down to uh who who are you going to play i mean you could play madweke but i mean not so sure if um if 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 that's the right decision and i would have liked to see mm. chuck Romeka on that side i but, would have um, liked to see that as but, well to be honest i think that he needs he needs to be brought on a bit later in the game i i would presume uh, that, that maybe chuck Romeka will come on later as far as the the leicester team is concerned i mean look the thing is with the leicester team is it this is an we should beat leicester but it's going to be an awkward tie because mm. if you look at that lineup, you got Face, Vestergaard, and Didi, Dewsbury Hall, Winks, Dakar, mm. have all played in the Premier League. They're not going to be yeah. overawed, right? This is not like you know. Chowdhury has played team. in the Premier League as well, by the way. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Hamza Chowdhury as well. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, um, so that's more than half the team, right? Yeah, and, and you know, um. And so I don't think they're going to be overawed. Uh, you know, I I think this is probably... If anything, of... Alhambra, they're probably looking at the Chelsea team thinking they've got more experience, these players, playing in the Premier League. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, you could definitely say, you know, the likes of like Winks, Dewsbury Duz Hall, Ndidi, Dakar, um, Face, absolutely. Like, they've, they've, mm. they've all got... Um, how, when did Chowdhury break in? Was it... Th Bro, th a couple of seasons back. Yeah, so he's, yeah. Got, he's got back. Yeah. he's probably got just as much, if not more, experience as well. So, to me, the way I look at this Leicester game, it's almost like you're playing, for me, the equivalent of say Nottingham Forest, or mm -hmm. you're playing, you know, Everton, somewhere in between those two. Yeah, levels, yeah, I agree right? with you. Yeah, I don't see this as we're playing a Championship team, even though we are, like, you know, effectively, but. I would say that we're probably more like playing a team that if that was the team playing in the Premier League right now, would probably be fighting relegation 15th, 16th, yeah. with no additions yeah. required. Genuinely. I just think that they yeah. just absolutely bombed out because Rogers lost the dressing room. I mean, that was it, really. Yeah. And they lost Fofana, which was a big, big blow. And um, who else did they lose? I think they lost Fofana and somebody else. James Madison, bro. James that was Madison and uh, Barnes. Was it, was it Madison? Didn't Madison leave? After the relegation, I, I'm oh, saying you're before, talking about oh, you're talking about last, last, yeah, yeah. Before, 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 who else did they? Who's the big money one that they lost? It was Wesley Fofana. It was, um, then it was one more. Wesley Fofana. Who else did they lose? Harvey Barnes, I think. Was no, no, no Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes Are we left talking uh, about after the after we're talking about who they lost. Who yes, who did they America. lose before they got relegated? The summer before. What's uh or before they got relegated? Oh no, 
uh, yeah, before um, they got relegated. <laughs> yeah. It might it might not have been even that they lost anyone. Tillemans, I think. Till- no, Tillemans. no, I think Tillemans, no, Tillemans, Tillemans and Madison both season left because after he, he they got relegated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think basically what probably happened was that season the mistake they made was not selling them. They should have sold yeah. Tillemans. They should have sold Madison because I think those those two just didn't want to stay. And mm-hmm. and I think that it was just a whole mess that season. So, you know, um, but from the from from this team's perspective, if you put like one or two additions into that team, that's a team that could probably survive the Premier League next year. I so, think so. I so think this so. isn't yeah, this isn't gonna be like an easy, hey, we're gonna turn up, it's gonna be four or five. It's not gonna be Middlesbrough. You know, thinking Do you reckon of, we could you know, potentially have problems in midfield, Alhambra? Look the way you've sort of pointed out Leicester's Kind of workhorses in the middle. Let's be honest. Dewsbury Hall and I mean, Dewsbury Hall gave us win. problems. No way. When we played, no way. When we played, Gall- Gall- dog is gonna run through them. <laughs> no way. Yeah. But one player can just you know overall like a unit of players. You know what I mean? Yeah, but boys, we're gonna perform in these games. Okay? We're we're gonna put up a performance at home. Like I do not believe a championship team can beat us at home. That's that should be impossible for us. I I just hope I hope the players don't go on the pitch with that mentality because I'm I'm yeah. saying this is not a, yeah. it, this for me it's not like playing Preston or Middlesbrough this is for me this is not really a championship team this, this is, is a relegation a, scrap team this is a relegation scrap Premier League team for me right add one That's or two really true talk you know add one or two additions and you're probably talking about somebody that could probably you know, be that team that is maybe like four or five or six points away from the relegation zone at this time of the season. Mm, but yeah. that team today probably would be in in and around where Nottingham Forest, Luton, Everton, even though we know they've got the points like, deduction, but they'll be in that, in that range for me. Like I hear what you're saying, Alhambra. What you're saying is we should be beating them, but let's not go into the mentality that, oh, there's just a walkover. Uh, then we're going to get the biggest shock of our life. Yeah, and look, I think Dewsbury Hall, I think, is a is a very good player. Indeedy, decent player. Um, Indeedy has got a wealth of experience in the Premier League. He's played yeah. several seasons in the Premier the League. Seasons. Yeah, Dakar dangerous but very wasteful. I would yeah. say. Yeah, yeah. Um, but still, Butterworth also good. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a quick look He's at their. Sure. Um, just quickly, let's have a quick look at their uh, bench as well. They've got Ward, Cody, Nelson, Justin, Eunice, Albrighton is very experienced as well. Marcel, Iannaccio, very experienced campaigner. Look, is my verdict on this game. I- I'm confident we should do the trick, but I am somewhat weary about that midfield of just Caicedo and Gallagher. Like, Mudrik as a 10, I, I have no issues with, but they will th- th- these lot over here, Sterling, Mudrik, Palmer, and Jackson, they will need to work their back- backsides off, off the ball as well. Like they can't just be thinking, uh, yeah, let's just allow Kaisida and Gallagher to take care of everything here. We'll just sit back and wait for the ball to come to us. Because one thing I can assure you, the Leicester team, they will give their 100%. Here's one thing I'll give... say yeah. is on the subs bench, whilst we have obviously the, the better players, I think they've got a more balanced subs bench. They you know, and do. I think that, yeah, they, they kind of do. do. Kinda look, do. Look, look at our subs, man. Look at our subs. By the way, who's who's that with all that background noise, man? Please go put yourself on mute if you're if you're gonna have background me- noise. Um Substitutes, Petrovic, Buddy Shield, Thiago Silva, Achiapong, Chilwell, Harrison. Yeah, like what is the battle? We don't have any midfielders. No. Nah, and I, I you know, these guys they've got uh Ju- yeah, Justin, I think, is a good player. is a good player. Ian Nacho. Hey, Harry's you know, midfielder means. Um oh, we've sorry, got who? Harrison. Harrison's a midfielder of Allen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Harrison's also in the Harrison's also in the panel. <laughs> Big up to you, Harrison. Then I don't think seconds. he'll get game time. But <laughs> for for me today, to be honest, for me today, we should press the living hell out of this uh, Leicester team. Like 
today we should just press and target players because Ndidi and Fires, these yeah. guys, the ball control is horrendous. It's not good. Yeah, yeah, this, you're right. these you're right. guys cannot, bro. They keep, bro. They just can't keep the ball. So for mm-hmm. me, Jackson press the living Jackson Mudrick on um, everyone. Work your backsides off. Work your backside. So today I can actually see. Um, because Dak is very good in the air, so I can I can see Leicester going long, winning you know the duels, and then just building up from there. So I would just say like, hey, high line, you play high risk, high reward. That's just how you play today, and you press the living. We, sh- we should be on the front foot. We really should Always. be on the front. Yeah, we should. Like, we should. If I to- see, if I see in the first ten minutes, we are just, like we're getting pressed and we're getting dominated. I'll, I'll I'll actually not be happy. We we should be going out there, as you said, uh, Benji. Take the game to them, press them high, have a high line, box them in, and just not let them breathe. Just don't let them breathe. It's at Stamford Bridge. Exactly. Um, if I see the other thing, few people have been talking about this. I want to get your thoughts about this, ladies and gentlemen, um, and to the panel people as well. Um, Enzo Maresca, you do know he was a assistant manager to Pep Guardiola's treble winning team last season. Um, yeah. I don't know how long he was there for, but Enzo Maresca seems like a very, very astute manager. Um, what you lot know about Enzo Maresca? Um, I'll start with Alan, man. Well. Valen, we can't hear you, bro. He focused on Kenya Minamis? Yeah, yeah, better. Yeah, so Enzo Maresca is a guy that, like, you know, your Deserbis, your Thiago Motas, they like to build up play. And he likes to adopt a similar system of Pep Guardiola, whereby he has, I think, Callum Doyle, is it, from left back that inverts in? Hmm. Yeah. Callum Doyle. But, I think he's starting, isn't he? Yeah, he is starting. Yeah, yeah he is starting. Yeah. But overall, I don't think, because if you imagine him playing as a B-Tech version of Pep Guardiola, our squad kind of knows how to go against that type of system. Mm-hmm. So we should be able to get the best out of them. Fair point, man. Batram, how you doing, my brother? Hey, man, big ups. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? We can, we can. All good. Yeah. It's, it's how's, how's it all going, brother? Yep. Uh, so, uh, yeah, about Enzo Maresca. I was I was actually about to ask you guys. Uh, I know he was Pep's assistant last season. Um, uh, I actually, you know, you wouldn't believe I've seen some Chelsea fans actually call for his name for our job next to season. to manage Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a few. There's a few, <laughs> I, few I've on seen, wow. going around. You know, like uh, <laughs> at this point, we'll take anyone, huh? You we'll take anyone. We don't want him nowhere near Chelsea. The Leicester fans hate him because he doesn't really like. Get involved with the fan base. He doesn't clap. He doesn't go over to the fan base. And match going fans hate that. Potts doesn't do that. So if another do, guy do, comes over to do, that, it... do you do you think he has like this kind of ego where um less he thinks maybe Leicester is like beneath his level or something? Too beneath. It's beneath him. Maybe yeah, that, that could be it. Yeah. It's just weird. He's my friend's a Leicester fan. And he said he's never gone over. He's never and he goes to quite a few games. He said he thinks he's gone over like once. The whole season, yeah. So they, um, they 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 play great football, but the, the fans don't. He's, he's do you know what football. Harrison? Do you, do you know what Harrison? It's so crazy how, and I, I guess I will never understand this because I don't actually live there. But if I, if I did live there, maybe I, I'd I'd fully understand exactly what the match going fans they want and whatnot. It's crazy how Enzo Maresca with Leicester like they're first. Like they're, they're literally first in the championship. So uh, I know they've got Leeds just breathing down their neck. Well, I think, no, sorry, Ipswich. Ipswich, Ipswich with uh, Omari Hutchinson. They're actually doing really well, potentially looking at a um, promotion. But you'd probably expect Leicester to go through there at the moment. They are first. It's crazy how fans, even when you're first, like they don't care over there. That, that yeah. fan is so important it seems like you know all of the gestures coming over clapping connecting with the fans like it's it's massive it's almost as if that's far more massive than the results itself 
I think, think that's kind of split. I think it's due to like how much they. It, it's it to be honest, it's their personal livelihood involved as well because they're spending a fortune going there and they would like some appreciation or some recognition mm-hmm. from the players and the staff. Uh, but yeah, like, deserves so. Uh, yeah. Doing some appreciation there. So uh, I I get their feeling. Uh, maybe we, we can actually understand that better if we were in that position, but yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that that's what like the local fans and like the match going fans like really uh think you know. Uh, you see in our case as well for Mason Mount, uh, they'll really uh put him in a high appreciate him when he yeah, yeah goes and claps, yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. I mean, he uh, could, for, as far as I'm concerned, you know, Magic could wear that that D Day mask, uh, and as long as he's winning trophies, I, I, I couldn't care less. You know, I mean, Alhambra, you, you you live in the UK, right? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm born brought up here. Yeah, yeah. And, and and you've gone to matches, right? Yeah, of course, of course. So home and how, how is is it important for you, like a manager coming in, clapping and showing the appreciation for your efforts to go to the stadium? Yeah, of course. I mean, look, it's appreciated, but it's not demanded. If you know what I mean. And mm. it only it, you only to me, it it only comes up when a manager is not really doing well. Yeah. 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 You know, um, so you know if you're if you're a manager and you wanna you wanna carry some goodwill, maybe you go over to the fans when you're winning, so that at least you know when you're you're going through that sticky patch, maybe you know the the fans aren't on your back as much. Um, but that's if you're that's if you're inclined to like build that relationship. But otherwise, it, it's not like it's not the thing. See, th- this whole the, the 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 problem I think is that when teams stop performing mm. a lot of fans in this country they go back to this thing of like he, he ain't working hard enough there's no application <laughs> they ain't yeah. running they don't care yeah. about the badge you know it's, it's and you think the old to school yourself, mentality right you know you think to yourself i mean look maybe part of it is that but then you yeah. look at their running stats i mean i guess you know people don't and, like and running run. stats but <laughs> running stats come on i mean like you can't <laughs> deny that one right the guy yeah, ran yeah, 10 yeah. kilometers. And he ran 10 <laughs> kilometers last season. Every match, yeah. okay? I mean, so he's he's running. The question is, where is he running? That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem. The problem That's is the not problem. that he's running. The problem is he's running, you know, in some random areas. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, so people go to the kind of the simplest explanation for why things aren't working. And the simplest thing is that they, just, they just don't care. Uh, and so then in comes the clapping, in comes the, all of that. Mm-hmm. you know for me nonsense but i would like to be appreciated don't get me wrong but it's not for yeah. me it's not the be all and end all you know for me i'm just gonna be because i i kind of agree with alhamra because i really don't give a shit to be honest <laughs> i really don't because i've been living in england i've been uh, i've been to chelsea matches i need uh, both home and away only in london though because uh, i am bothered to go to manchester and birmingham and you know all of them towns so Mm. I really don't give a shit. As long as we're winning, I really don't give a shit because just handle business and let me just go home. Because <laughs> I, I, for, for me, when I was in England, I was studying. So for me, like, I had a lot of friends that were Chelsea fans, so we all went together to the Stamford Bridge. But I, I, I used to live in East London in Newham. So for me, it was kind of a far... It was very far because that's the other side of London. So it took like one and a half to get to Stanford Bridge. So for me, it was just like, bro, just handle business and let me just go home, please. Because I, I got to study after this. I, I only had like two hours of free time um, on the weekends because, you know, I always had got to study. But I guess, you know, we're all kind of different. Some fans like when they clap because I know that some fans really do appreciate when the coach, you know, comes over and claps. But sometimes the fans just be like, you ain't performing. Don't come here and clap. You know, trying to be, you yeah. Know, the, the, the good, like, the good you just guy. got, you just got your backside whooped. Don't come yeah. to me and clap Don't now. Don't come to me and you, you know, start clapping. But they appreciate the players. <laughs> I can, I can tell you that much. They, 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 they will always appreciate the players. And even when the players come, you know, and talk to the fans, Thiago Silva has done that a lot of times. Eden Hazard used to do that too when he used to be playing. Oh, Mikel used to do that, like, oh, sorry guys for you know losing. We didn't play well enough. You know, they kind of connected with the fans. That's why everybody kind of loves Obi Mikel at Stanford Bridge. Uh, other players too, because they were just so honest. Uh, mm. just pointing out the facts and you just yeah, we lost today, 
we didn't play good enough. Let's just move on. Let's just win the, you know, the next game. And we're just like, yeah, fair enough. It was honest. Like, let's just forget this. Let's just go home and come back next week. Harrison, I wanted to ask you. Um, I think Harrison, you, you go to you go to matches, uh, Chelsea matches quite often, right, Harrison? Yeah, quite often. Yeah, quite a few times this year. Yeah, like ten games this year. Can I ask you? Um, what what happened during that Sari era? I don't know whether you actually went during that time. I I rate this manager quite highly. Um, oh, I do. I do. That was the most toxic era ever. Re- re- oh recently, goodness. I've even advocated. Look, I mean, you know, I think I think he'd be very good for Chelsea. Oh, look, there's plenty of candidates out there. I'm just throwing one name. Okay. What happened during that Sari era, man? What happened? I I think a combination of Chelsea's never played that like. That type of football, yeah, or it n- never worked like that. Jorginho type has always been like technical players, but physically as well. Mm. You think about mm. e- uh, Mikel, Essien, Lampard. Yeah, I mm. hear you. Yeah, it's a totally different style of football, and I don't think that style has ever worked for Chelsea. It's never worked. Chelsea have always grinded results, but it hasn't ever been. It's been good football, but not ever like the. Sometimes there's been teams that play. Better football in our like exclamation marks. Yeah, uh, I I think he's willing to just do the same system and again and again and again was his downfall. And um, I just I just think there was a a weird it felt like a weird connection between the player and manager as well. Hmm. Didn't think they like always united. Like you think yeah. about Kepper Kepper coming off in the cup final, for example, not coming off. Just yeah, just, and yeah, us I mean, losing that game the, too. The Sari thing was mostly about, you know, as Harrison said, it's like it was a new evolution that set the foundations for four three three and Sari ball, and obviously we saw that Napoli team, and that was what was going to happen. And actually, to be honest with you, that season started off pretty well. You started I off great. Actually, dude, I think yeah, what was it? Uh, I think, was great. it the first five games unbeaten? For, yeah, first, yeah, first yeah. six, I think. First six, first right? Six, and I think it was like, what was it? Four wins and two draws. Four wins Something and two like draws. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually yeah. So, so people were like, okay, November. but then, then things started to go downhill, and I think, yeah. I think that six one, that six one against Manchester that City, six one, that was the, had that was the walloping yeah. that that kind oh, of that, area. Yeah. that was it. And I think the the real issue is you forgot about the for fans. Name, you're you're basically experimenting yeah, with something yeah. new, and the fans are like, no, 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 no. If experimenting with something means I'm going to get can get destroyed 6-1, pammed 5-1 at Manchester United, at Man City, at, you know, other places. I, I don't want this, you know, because you're not far removed from, mm. you know, obviously winning the, the, the Champions League and winning the league, you know. So um, I just think it was, uh, it was just basically impatience to try something new. Looking That's back it at it now, because I was, I was, <laughs> I was similarly, you know, inclined. So I was like, this guy's got to go. But yeah. looking back at it now, it actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> it, it was. That's, Bro, that's the funny it thing. was not bad. It wasn't that it, it bad. Wasn't that, do, do, it, do you know what, lads? Do you know what? By the time it finished with a Europa League trophy, it actually started to look very good. Yeah. That final was we the biggest them. cherry on top where it all clicked. That entire Sari ball clicked. Everyone knew what they were doing. The passing was brilliant. The possessional play was brilliant. We controlled oppositions. They didn't see much of the ball. Yes, do, was, do, you guys, do, you guys, do you guys remember the Frankfurt game? That was the semifinal. Actually, that was, we started... We started seeing flashes of the patterns and everything. Yeah, yeah, that game itself. yeah. That game was exactly. great, man. That it was especially great. the 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 penalty shootout as well. It kind of felt like it galvanized the the club after a, a tumultuous um, season. Yeah. Um, I remember right at the end of the season as well, like beating Watford, beating West Ham. Like we and miss, we did it with ease. We did it, and I'm pretty sure we came third, right, guys? We yeah, came third yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah, we came third. We came third. And um, I think we had a very strong defensive record as well. So uh, it was a little bit scrappy. I think it was around because we were unbeaten until November. 
And yeah, but we, I don't think overall we conceded too many. I know there was the two wallop, wallopings against Bournemouth and City, but I think overall, defensively... Overall, it was kind of all right, yeah. We were we were compact because that's horrible. Compact, not a lot of pressing. You kind of back off a little bit and you press more in midfield. Yeah. So, yeah the I way I remember that bad. season, if I'm not mistaken, was we went we were like the first third we were consistent, and then suddenly we just started becoming inconsistent. Out of nowhere. Out, out of nowhere. nowhere. Out and of that nowhere. was the part that I never quite understood. How can you start consistently? And then become inconsistent. Yeah, because you know, if you're if you're starting well, it means that you've you've taken in the ideas. That's the thing. Yeah. It's because of but, Bucky, right? so, Bucky and Jorginho midfield. Yeah, and so I, you know, I, I just think I just think it was probably ahead of his time. Probably you know, that's, that's, that's that's the thing we're guys... talking about now because because when I look when, when I look back at it. Even being at the bridge, like, let, let's not lie. Like, we enjoyed the football, but it was just the results. Like, it was just left, right, and center, you know, in the middle part of the season. Like, we, we weren't consistent at all. And it was just, it, I don't know, but we were kind of used to this fast pace, you know, back and forth, like, aggressive type of football. And then when yeah, we yeah. went to this position base, it was like, damn, I could literally Living sleep more slower. in this game. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can yeah, literally yeah. sleep at the games and just wake up, you know, when the goal comes. So I kind of get it. But for me, sorry came at the wrong time. Or he came at the right time, but at the wrong era. Like, he should have come in now for me. Yeah, he probably should have come in now. He should have come, you know he he come in now. Like, you now. Would... Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Benji, man. I just wanted to also add, um, I remember during that sorry period, I don't know if you guys remember this, the journalists were so rude towards Sari as well. Like people like Matt Law, he was just waiting for that Gary Cahill big <laughs> exclusive to drop just before a match. I remember against Watford, you know, people like Nizar, people like so many, Simon Johnson, they would just talk so much crap about Sari nonstop. But I don't see so many, so much crap about Pochettino, you know? Like, look at the diabolical season that we've had. I, I don't why, see what? Poch getting hammered. It's because they're like the owners want to control it as much, in my opinion. No, Poch is a very good the, PR game in England. This, they yeah, are, Poch is a very good PR game. Yeah, but the, the whole club wants to be so PR happy at the moment. If I know, I know he's been told he's staying to the end of the season. But if it got like really, really bad. They, they they would sack Poch, I think. They said they care so much about PR. It's a shame. In my opinion. Do you reckon like if it if it I mean how much worse does it need to get? Like nah. eleventh <laughs> should have been bad enough. It got, I mean? it got it got worse with Potter. It got we don't, we've had like one. Oh yeah, it got worse like, with Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah on the cool. it got worse. It got worse. Well I just think I I just think I just think for me, I don't know how you guys look at it. But for me, the journalists have been so goddamn soft the last, like, four or five years. Like, they've been so goddamn soft. Like, the questions they ask under the press conferences. Nah, it, they're not even questions, bro. Like, bro. I don't even know what they are. Like, this is, like, like I remember, I remember, like, back in the days, like, you, you used to put the, manager, the managers under fire. Like, how are you going to handle this? Like, yeah, I told you this question. That was a hard question, right? And then, you yeah. know... A lot of managers, like, I'm talking about the old school, the Vengas, you know, they used to, like, rage quit under the press conferences. Like, we don't see that now. I would love to see a question that just fucks up Pochettino's mind. He's just like, no, nah, I, I, ain't, I ain't answering that. I ain't answering that. He just leaves. I would lads, love to see that. Let's have a look at this. This, ah, this is what. This is what annoys me about journalism in UK especially. Look at this. Look at this. Sky Sports Gary Cotterell. I don't know who this guy is, Gary Cotterell, but anyway. We need to get to He's the bottom clown, of why Enzo way. isn't even in the squad. Perhaps another injury for Chelsea. <sighs> I'm so used to being hated, so I really, I really don't give a shit. 
I mean, no, how, is this guy, like, how is this guy doing punditry? He doesn't even know that the player is suspended. And he's just making up some BS. The fun fact this is, is incredible. This is incredible. How do people get away with this sort of nonsense? Only in UK, you know. Only in UK. I swear to you. Yeah. Uh, it's not journalism is um journalism is quite mad. I'm just scouring through um social media just to see hey, what's Miss, going on. You know, Sky, Miss, Miss, Sky, Miss, did you see the Sky game yesterday? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Did, did you see the game yesterday and Andres Santos? I uh, didn't get to watch it, but uh, Bro, I saw the guy was phenomenal. praise about him. He was he was Bro, crazy. He was so good. So good. Yep. This guy got to come back. Nah, I don't know he's... why we let him go out on loan, but this guy is too good for that Strasbourg team. We we definitely will um over this upcoming uh, international break we'll we'll do we'll do quite a few of these conversations where I think out of all the low knees, I know there's a lot of talk about Amari Hutchinson. There's a lot of talk about uh, David Atra Fafana. But I think, if anything, if one player is fully ready to be part of the first squad, whether it's rotational base or whatnot, that's a different story. I think Andre Santos is definitely, definitely ready. Um, yeah. I've always said, like, we could have done with him. Alhambra, you were going to say something, bro. What were you going to say? Uh, no, I mean, uh, the, 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 that was an interesting um, uh, other observation. Uh, you know, S Santos could be ready. Mm, I'm still question marks, but we'd leave that to the point where we talk about it. Um, now, I was going to talk about the journey. I'm intrigued point. now, bro. I'm intrigued. Why question marks? I just, I, so I actually watched Andre Santos live um, wow. playing for Brazil against okay. Morocco. Last oh, year, yes. Okay, yes, now look, yeah. there, 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 there has been a year of development. But one thing I noticed about looking at the way he was playing, positional awareness. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree and with that. and I think you know, um, I think he was one of the biggest reasons why Morocco actually won that game. You know, wow, we're talking okay. about a team that had Vinny and Neymar and you know all the all the big guns there, but they they put. Santos in the middle. You think positionally he's not he's not aware all the time where he is in the field. Look, I'm saying what I've seen of him like live on the pitch and again, you know, essentially a year ago. So maybe, you know, yeah. over the last year he has yeah. improved that. Unfortunately, even if you watch him on TV, you'll never get that uh, that view because you're only no, you know what, what the camera follows. A lot of the a lot of the Strasbourg fans yesterday were saying that you had a good game. Obviously, Patrick Vieira said he had a good game as well. I didn't get to watch it, but many I saw like the Strasbourg fans that obviously watched the game said he was culpable of that goal they conceded. Like he wow, wasn't aware, go. he wasn't aware of his position. <laughs> and I didn't even watch but, the game. So there you but, go. For, yeah. but for, but for so, me, yeah, I, I heard a lot of Strasbourg, Strasbourg fans say that too, but. If you watch the game, like Strasbourg, like for me, if if you're gonna have Andre Santos in the team, then you gotta give him clear instructions. And we all know Patrick Vieira and instructions don't go hand to hand. <laughs> Patrick Vieira needs that type of Olise as a type of player that can just take the game and just do something. And at Strasbourg, he doesn't have that, so now he needs to, you know, use his brain to manage the team. So when you look at that, when you look at that goal, it was actually the center back out of position. Andre Santos, I don't know where he was, to be honest. But yeah, it might be some type of marking. Look, or over, some overall, of, I heard he had a really, really overall, good game. Overall, um, he had a very good game, man. I was so, really on the ball, very, very good. Uh, under pressure, very, very good. Remind him that game reminded me of preseason. I was like, dang, yeah, yeah we should have kept him. But we will definitely talk about. Uh, Andre Santos and a lot of the loanees all throughout this particular couple of weeks of international break. Um, let's do some rounds in regards to score prediction. Um, the other thing that I want to say was because uh, so difficult to to get excited about Chelsea game. I'm going to open up the panel to stick around for the watch along as well. So happy for you guys to hang around for the watch along. Just make it all interesting for all of us, to be honest, for me, especially 
or else it's just a bit too boring these days watching Chelsea games. So happy for you guys to stick around for the watch along um, if, if you want to. Um, and to other members as well, if you, if you want to if you want to come in and, and watch as well together. I know it's going to be very difficult to align with each other, but it is what it is, man. At least we can have a conversation and watch the game and not just be um, sort of bored out of our backside. Hopefully it's an entertaining game anyway. Um, but yeah, let's do some score prediction. Live chat, let me know some score predictions. And to the panels, let's go with Harrison. What do you think about some... Uh, What's your score prediction for this particular match? I am going. This is bold for Chelsea at the moment. A 3 1 win and Madrid's going to score. Nice. I actually went for 3 0 in my preview. A lot of people thought I was being arrogant, but. Oh, no, nah, we, we, are, we are conceding. There's no way we get through a game. We are game. conceding. We are conceding. <laughs> Bertram, um, score prediction, brother. Um, this is actually a Premier League tie in my eyes. That's uh, so what well, most people are saying as well. It is a potential banana skin. Uh, so I'm going to mm. say 3-2, but our boys will get the job done. In my opinion. Wow, 3-2. Now that will be entertaining. Um, next is Alhambra. Thoughts? I, I, I hope this doesn't happen, but, <laughs> but I think this is going to be 2-2 uh, two, two extra time oh, penalties. Wow. Oh, wow. Do we, do we, do we have a Alhambra. this time? Do you have replays this time? No, no extra I don't time. there is any replay. It's extra time and then straight to penalties. There's no replay anymore. Replays are in the early stages. Oh, man, I can't do that, bro. I just get it over and done within 90 minutes, man. That'll push me all the way to to Sehri. And, uh, yeah, I need to eat and, and get ready for tomorrow's fasting. So. I hope it doesn't happen, but this, this just has that feel for me. Uh, uh, you know. Man. If if it does, <sighs> says a lot about this team, the manager, and where we are, I suppose. Brian CFC, thank you so much for the super channel, man. Clean sheet in the bin, fellas. Fair enough. Um, next up, I'm gonna go to Valen. Score prediction, brother. I mean, just by looking at watching yesterday's game, commentary and Wolves, mm. I think it's gonna be three two again. Yeah, it could be a bit of a blockbuster. FA Cup is um Brings out the brings out the crazy. Brings out the crazy. Benji, uh, score prediction. You're on mute, Benji. My bad. Damn. I'm gonna go with the three one. We gotta handle business today. I don't care what no one says. We gotta handle business today. <laughs> we do gotta handle business, man. We do. Um all right, well, that's the score prediction. Any any other topics that you guys want to talk about? I'm happy to uh, happy talking yeah, about Mish, anything. I want to be honest. You one thing. Talk to me, Valen, bro. Who would you rather keep for next season, Cucurella or Ben Chilwell? Oh, nice, bro, nice conversation. Bro. No one keep Cucurella game. every day of the week. Um, bro, um, give me Cucu. You, you know how I've always felt about Cucurella, man. When when we were not linked with him and he was linked with I Manchester City. I don't understand City. the hate on Cucurella that, that he's getting compared to Chiro. The hate on Cucurella is... It's is, crazy. You know, is, 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 uh, you know, it's in uh, multiple folds. One, he's from Brighton. So there's that history. You know, we don't want to associate ourselves with Brighton. Um, two, he... Look... <sighs> I like Kukurea so much, man. I really do. I wanted him. I was so excited. I still remember when I did the live stream when when we bought Kukurea. There was well over fifteen hundred people live because I was just dancing and singing. The thing about Kukurea is he's come to Chelsea Football Club and um, he keeps making that odd mistake, which is he comes off the line, gets beaten by the ball, and then the opposition goes behind him and. Exactly. Most often than not, ends exactly. up scoring, and that's like, that's that, my but problem with him too. The like he thing. rushes in so so often. Yeah. Now I still think he's better all-rounded left back when it comes to technicality, playing with the ball than Chilwell. Um, Chilwell in recent times has been getting smoked as well. To be honest, uh, we've seen what happened to him by Connor Connor Bradley in in the match against Liverpool. Um, not the Carabao Cup, the one before that. I think it was in Anfield. Uh, 
Uh, Chilwell is injury prone. Look, I, I would keep I would keep Conor Gall- uh, Sorry, I would keep um, Kukurea, um and I'm, I wouldn't keep Ben Chilwell. I'd be looking to get rid of him. But looks like maybe Chelsea Football Club are gonna potentially get rid of both. Maybe I don't know. I think yeah, I think Kukurea's name is um, is up on that. Thanks for the win. On that, something I think would be interesting is how I know Potts probably not here next year. But he only likes to give the captaincy to English players. And his main three are yeah. James. Did you there. say, did you, Chilwell, say you don't think Poch, Poch is going to be here next year or, or Poch will be? No, no, I don't think he will be. But I think if the club are still planning to have him here, that they know he loves to have English players like as his leaders. There's a reason why certain other players don't ever or hardly ever get the armband. So yeah, you say he, he you say he likes but, English players to be his leaders, but at first his leaders were Alderweireld, Vertonghen, and Loris. None of them were English. Yeah, but I'm just saying what I've said at Chelsea. He ha- he won't give the armband band to Silva. He refuses. I think yeah, he just wants to move players. on. I think Poch's plan is like to move on from the older players to give the young players the responsibility now so they aim so they can year a year of full development instead of giving the Arban to Thiago Silva now and then they have to learn next season. That's the only logical way I can think because there's no other logic why you're giving Yeah, because why are you giving it to Gallagher? Why are you giving it to Ben Chill? Like Right, he gave it, it, it to it, Levi Colwell as well. Yeah, that's but, yeah, that's the thing. So it must be about players. responsibility. He wants them to grow within within that leadership. Like if you think about it, Chelsea don't want to go out and buy leadership. So if you don't buy it, then you have to make it in house. That's one thing we ha- we have to think about. If you don't buy it, you have to make it in house. And for me, okay, yes, Levi Colwell, he's way too young. This guy should be learning. He should be on the bench and come off, you know, and play some games here and there. Or have an experienced player beside him and play every single game, week in, week out. That's the only that's the only logical for me with Levi Cole. So he's way too young. Gallagher, yes, kinda. But Gallagher, he ain't that type of, you know, he's shouting and screaming, you know. He just leads by running. That's what he does. He just leads by running. Leads and... by I suppose his performances. But then again, his performances are not always look, it's just so, know, with, so with other words, we don't have a good captain. Yeah, so for me, so so for me, so for me, if Enzo could speak like excellent, not even excellent, just communicate in English, bro, just give it to him, or maybe give it to when you. it's football English, boys. Football That's the thing English. too. That's the thing too. That's the thing yeah, too. But I think I think what they're trying to what they're trying to do here is that they really want to connect, you know, Chelsea being you know in the, in the English Premier League. Uh, English um, league, basically, they really want to connect a, a core of English-born players um, to to carry Chelsea. I suppose I, I don't know why this is the this is the angle that they're going. With. It's for the it's for the academy to look up to the English players. It's it's yeah, way easier for the academy to look up to an English player than, for example. Oh, uh, let's not be stupid. No academy players making it at Chelsea. But it, it is like that. Sad. Come on, come on now, come on now. It is, it is. That's why we had Mason Mount for so many sold. years, and that's why we had Gallagher for so many. That's why we have Reese James. That's why we no. have these type of players. Mm. We we want to have that English no. core for the for the academy to bond with. That's well, why. I just go Mount. Mount ever, only ever made it at Chelsea because he had a transfer ban. I think if he had a transfer ban, he, he gets sold before he plays for Chelsea. Who? Mason Mount? Yeah. Nah, he ain't getting sold. He ain't getting sold. If, if, he, if, you, saw, if you saw what Mason Mount did the previous seasons, this guy, this guy was balling. So, uh, nah, and you also have it. to understand that Frank Lampard was a massive fan of Mason Mount. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Derby also. Not only him, not only him. Yeah, I understand your take. I understand your take, but I completely disagree. I I do I do understand your take. Filthy Frank fell in love with Mason boys. That's what happened. Otherwise, oh. Mason Mason would not have played for us. Yeah, you can say that too. So so y'all say if it wasn't for Frank, Mace wouldn't be here. Yes, and um, Frank was only in because we had a transfer ban, and 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, fair take. Fair take. Fair take. I don't, I don't mean take. it like transfer ban on its own. I mean it with Lampard, with everything, the whole whole situation we were in. It's not only on the ban. But... We I got think would... ten yeah, minutes ahead. before the match starts. Um, any. Uh... Any information coming out? Any any quotes? Anything? Can anyone see? Oh, the, only, the only thing we do know is uh, Chelsea told Gallagher to contract or air off. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that's what I've been told. Uh, so yeah, I saw that. Uh, they, they they told they told Gallagher because Gallagher wanted a contract with one fifty and five years. But Chelsea said, nope, you getting maximum 100 with bonuses, so you can get up to 150, or you ain't getting no contract at all. It's in actually opinion, funny, because Gallagher has all the power in this situation. And that's the funny be, thing, though. Yeah, I mean, we'll be seeing a lot I, more of briefings come out, like how it got up for Mount. Though. But, but, but guys, do you know what I think? I think... I, this is what I think. I truly believe this. If Pochettino stays, then best believe Gallagher, he's getting his contract. 150 or not, he's getting that contract. But if Poch goes, then best believe Gallagher, Gallagher he will consider his future because now it really depends who comes in. If I could, I know I don't want him, but say the Zerbi is coming in. Uh, but no for example, the Zerbi won't want him. Yeah. If the Zerbi comes in, he, he's just going to say, Gallagher, you leave. There's no one coming. Mm. We're having Poch I mean, for another season. I mean, you, to be honest, to be honest, we can never say though. Uh, one point, let's say the manager does not want him. Um, the Euros is happening this summer, so the next for the next summer, you will not have any immediate urgency. So you might, for his pocket, let's say it's like an off case, right? You might like prefer to stick around here just for the Chelsea um, honor. Like you might still prefer to stick stick around and probably like. Wait for like to go on a, go as a free agent so he can pocket some signing on fee. That's just like a I don't, I don't think he's gonna want to waste a year of his career, in my opinion. But I, I don't I think so either. Think, I, I don't personally, I, I, I hope there's ownership, but like, I won't get into that right now. But I just don't think the salary that he's been off, I don't think it's that bad. Like, Enzo's Wait, on 180, Kaiseido's on 150, so him getting about. 100 to 120, probably fair. Yeah, 120, that's fair. 150, um, that's way too high. Harrison, where, where are you getting Enzo's from 180? Where'd you get that from? I saw it released days ago. It could be wrong, but that's what I thought. I thought it was like oh, 180. Last I saw Enzo, from Athletic, Enzo, Enzo's on like 120 Enzo, max. On yeah, Enzo no, is... No, not a chance. He's at 120. What do you mean not a chance? You know how much he was on Benfica? No? Enzo is on 120. I think I think Bro, I think his base. Yeah, yeah. to accept hundred. Uh, uh, oh my! Uh, I wouldn't. Days. I wouldn't even think Enzo is close to one fifty. Like I wouldn't even think he's no, close to that. No, Enzo. Bro, no, but ha Harrison, ben at oh. Benfica. Th this is the thing. This is why we need to understand these owners. You know how all, all of our rival fans they keep saying, "Oh, but look at all the money you guys spent on Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez." Yeah, sure, they did, but they got a good deal out of it because these players are not on exorbitant wages. Caicedo, yeah. he's on 150k. Yeah. 150k. Like, that's the max. That's, why, go. that's, that's Enzo, why I'm not I'm not shocked if we put a 90 million player in Ferguson and put one hundred K yeah. Enzo Fernandez is is last when I read an article from Athletic. He's not anywhere more than 120k per week. No, because I think... he was he was already on like he was he was on like like 40 or 50k oh, at Benfica. 40, 50K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's more, he's wow, more that, than doubled his money. He's wow. more than doubled his money. So for him, it's 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 great. There's yeah. no way Enzo Fernandez can just you know demand for 180k out of nowhere. And he was only there for six months at Benfica. Mm -hmm. Um Mudrik, I think he's on 97k. Yeah, Mudrik um, is on 97k. So what you guys have to understand is everyone is on a base fee with a 70% or a 30% cut because we ain't in Europe. So from what I know is everyone has a base fee. And then if you trigger that base fee and qualify into Europe, you get that extra 30% of your pay, of your salary. So that can boost yeah. it, for example, from 150 to yeah, 180. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, could, from you could potentially earn more um, by, yeah. by, by if, if we were in, in, 
Europe. Check this out, guys. Pochettino, like this is. I made a video recently. I don't know if you guys saw this. This line. Um, no, I don't. I try to explain the reality. But Chelsea, one of the biggest clubs in the world, and the fans want to win trophies. But we're in a different project. 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 This is not the this same Chelsea. The we're in a different project. This oh, gets man, repeated. Know every single press conference have you guys noticed this yeah they are trying to instill this in our head permanently and uh, another thing miss if you notice among the people Just who actually as well. harrison are you are you watching the tv or something because the noise is coming through sorry brother so either either have the the tv on mute because yeah it's it's tough but yeah go on on, man. Sure. Uh, uh, so if you notice something among the people who empathize with this ownership and say, I can see what they're doing in the long term. Think about the big picture. They often refer to like this kind of nonsense that's going on. That that kind of like get that does my head in and I can't take it because we have been flirting with 12th and uh, for two seasons in the running right now. And I cannot believe people are willing to take up with this bullshit and trying to like do a like, lot of mental gymnastics to justify that. It just literally, really like riles me up every time I see people like actually trying to propose managers like, I mean, Deserby, I mean, to be honest, I'm not a big Deserby fan. Like mm. Deserby or like Thiago Mota or like uh, the recent obsession is like the guy who was managing Stuttgart. Like, Come on, like I, mm. I don't think people have no idea about the club or their support in the first place. Yeah, um, true, all true, man, all true. Um, match is about to start. Um, happy for you guys to stick around. I'm just gonna get my stream ready. Um, happy for you guys all to uh, get your stream ready as well. Um, let me just get this sorted. Hudge in the house. Hudge back healing the ball five yard out in the cup final. Hopefully means he's not getting his bonus. That moment will forever haunt me. Yeah, that was um that was actually quite mad. What what um Enzo Fernandez did in that final. Um yeah, no. everything, everything this club has been doing has been quite mad, to be honest. Um but here we are. We start another match, another watch along, and uh, let's see what we can do. Let me get my stream sorted. Chelsea Leicester. All right. Okay. Here we go. Players are on the okay. way out. I know a lot of us will probably have. Um, Harrison, I'll, I'll I'll put you on mute, Harrison, because I keep hearing your um yeah background. Um, yeah. So let me just get this up. Yeah. By the way, Miz Ramadan Kareem, I just want to shout out my thank my, you, my, thank my, you, brother, thank you, all my Muslims brothers and sisters, and happy Easter fast for all the Christians like me, uh, fasting as well the forty yes. days. Yes. Happy Easter. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, my man. Um, Valen saying, big up, guys. I don't want to get Ms. Channel banned with my cousin while watching Chelsea and Poch. Uh, hopefully, we'll be in the semis or not. Can't really be asked anymore about the club. Okay, so Valen's not going to be around. That's all right. Uh, looks like I've got some of you guys hanging about. Benji's there, Bertram's there, TC. Any of the other members, if you feel like you want to join in and be part of the watch along, get in on it. Um, Meanwhile, uh, the players are coming out. Should be kick off very, very soon. Ibrahim, big up to you, my man. Big up, lads. Good luck, everyone. Let's get this right. Hopefully, uh, Hajj up the, up the Pure Profit FC. Damon, my man. Don't be surprised if Palmer and Gusto get sold at the end of the next season. I won't be surprised. I, I think this is the model that they're, they're, they're going forward with anyway. Uh, Asher, big up to you, my man. Big up, Ms. Brother. Just finished reading Quran. Lovely, my brother. May God bless us now. We focus on Chelsea. Let's go to the semi-finals. Araguna, big up to you, my man. Good to see you. Um, Jack, 
I've changed my mind on the score now. Leicester winning in coming. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Let me end the poll. We've got 556 votes in. Majority voting yes. Chelsea will win. Um, have, do uh, we know? Do we know who will play if we win this game? That's, that's I don't game. think we do yet. No, Isn't the draw going to happen after? The, yeah, the draw is going to happen after the Liverpool uh, Man United game. So yeah, yeah. Uh, that's gonna so be we don't game. know that yet. Um, but I have a I have a nasty feeling. This can, I have a nasty feeling we're going to get Coventry, and then it's going to be Liverpool City. But yeah, what would you see? Look, I'll take it if it's Coventry. At least we get to another final. But I, I, I hear you. What's the point, right? What's the point? We go to another final and we get ourselves disappointed. Um, Chelsea Empire, big up to you, my man. 3 0 Chelsea. Poch wanted Brighton. Poch watched Brighton game. Poch has something up his sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> he gets sacked. Uh, that's funny. Um, that's it, funny. Is Hamza the first ever South Asian player to like captain a Premier League or second division side? Uh, that's a very good question, man. Um, I'm not really sure. I can tell you this much. He's probably the first Bangladeshi to to captain a Premier League side. Um, I know that. Uh, I know he's from Bangladesh, which makes me very, very proud because I'm from Bangladesh as well to see uh, one of my countrymen uh, lead out another team. Fantastic to see that. So I, d I don't know whether he's the first South Asian, though. I, th I think there might have been others before him maybe Ooh, I'm not it, really looks sure. like, it looks like sterling is on the right and palm in the 10 that makes sense hmm that makes a lot of sense but but that means mudrick on the wing should we have the score uh live chat let me know do you want to have the score in this on the screen as well I mean, I'm going to have the score, like as in the time there, or do you want do you want this version where you can see all of my reactions, I suppose, or, or do you want the um, time? Let me know. Let me know in the live chat. Adnan's in the house. The match is off, and we have started. We have kicked off. Have you guys kicked off as well? Yeah. Um, yep. 30 seconds in. Yes, sir. 20 seconds here. Fair enough, man. Yeah, I'm on 20 seconds. Looks like more or less we're all close to each other. I know, I know it's going to be very difficult to sync, but it is what it is. I think it's going to be interesting to talk to you guys because lately, watching Chelsea matches, um, it's going to be difficult. Get you, bro. Uh, I just like zone on my work. Usually in more the game. Honestly, I, 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 I've been zoning out when I'm watching Chelsea matches. Like, is that the same with you guys? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I actually once slept through the game. <laughs> okay, so I haven't slept, but I zone out though. I really do zone out. It's not been like that for me before. Before I'd I'd, I'd be very like connected. I mean, oh. to be honest, like the last two years, man, it's been Fuck traumatizing. Okay. Like every, 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 like before, um, every loss hits hard. So you know, we as fans know that feeling, right? Since mm -hmm. last year, like it's it's really, really been emotional. Like I, I, I would say I, I've been like dead from a perspective of that. So whatever happens, uh, whatever. Even for the Carabao Cup finals, I couldn't care less. To be honest, I was dead at the point. No, I was actually quite up for that Carabao Cup final. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I felt that maybe we could win that. Um, only because we've lost against Liverpool so many times. So, but it, since it, the it, Carabao Cup loss, it's been it's been a bit dire. I can't even yeah, lie. No matter the positives, it feels like a lot more different. Like uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I've I, I also told like you guys multiple times. Like I don't. I'm not very hopeful of the Cubs' future uh, under under this ownership and the directors. So maybe mm. that's something. Um, yeah. So that's man. What's what's going on in this match, man? Like they're flying. I mean, we we we're pressing as well. They're pressing as well. Here we go. We got the ball now. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer inside the box. 
but corner. it's gone out for a corner. Did, did you guys notice in that action, Mudrik, Mudrik was in the central position there, so probably he's taking. Yeah, he's off. um he's playing number ten, isn't he? Definitely playing number ten. Oh mate, do you think they they're inter- interchanging? Cross so going in back. Yeah, they all. I, I think so. I think so, Benji. I, th- I think they're consistently going to interchange. Sometimes Mudrik is probably going to drift to the left. Sterling might come in the middle. Sometimes Cole Palmer might come in the middle. Mudrik might go on the right. Uh, it's it's flexible. It's flexible. They don't have to just hold their places where they are. I think it's more of like um, in possession or more like a rest defense thing, huh? because uh, Cole Palmer like he offers a lot more protection. The shit. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, that's- and it's been bombed forward by um, Leicester. It's been cleared. Oh, close. Hit the post. Very, very close. Very, very close. Do you know what? Even through this diabolical season, like a couple of players have really just done so well. Cole Palmer obviously being one of them. Um, that was actually quite close, man. Uh, Malagusta, another one. Like Cole pa- Oh, did that hit the post? Yeah, it did. Did hit the post. Like Cole Palmer, lads, just he's been he's been a revelation, man. Like he's been. I think I think it's it's our way of getting back in Man City. I hope for KDB. I really, <laughs> really hope that's the thing. <laughs> that I would be nice, huh? That would be nice. We just need to give Cole Palmer a solid team so that you know we can compete. Yeah. All right, Sterling, yeah. and uh, he gives the ball away, of course. Oh, oh <laughs> my goodness. The yeah, amount, uh, the amount of time this guy kills breaks, kills like f- made it fair. Okay. Here comes Lester. Here comes Lester. Here comes Lester. What a tackle, Kukarel, you boss! Oh, Mudrik, what was that? This Sorry, that wasn't Mudrik. That was, game. I think, Gallagher. That was Gallagher. This He's Mudrik. going to be a basketball game. Oh my goodness! But but do you know what, Benji? Which game isn't a basketball game under Pochettino? Like oh, yeah. Pochettino's game style is a bask. Like he should have been a. He should have been in NBA. I think he would have killed it. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, every game I watch, it is a basketball game. Like guys, stay calm. Stay it, calm. It, to, to be honest, like it, um, if we see Klopp as well, if we have like a degree of control, like when to know to switch it on and off, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But mm. again, it's. The lack of control we have in the midfield and the defensive zones that's causing the problem, in my opinion. Play it, uh, Lucky. But you know who's been improving a lot recently? Nicholas Jackson. Really starting his to link up. His link up is yeah. so good. I mean, I was very happy with him in the preseason. I was very excited to see how he does. Then obviously his season started pretty crappy. And then all of that shenanigans that he was doing in between just really annoyed me a lot. Um, but recently, probably the last five, six matches, I feel like some level of maturity, no, I'm not like heaps, but I'm saying some level of maturity is probably just crept into his game. The since AFCON, you mean? yeah, since AFCON, you're right, yeah, since AFCON. yeah, even though he barely even featured in AFCON. Damn, let's start doing a high press. Uh, what are you no, about the... What do you guys think about the striker position uh, need for that? Damn. Bro, what I'm do I to say? At this moment. What? I'm sorry, what was that, TC? I'm happy with Jackson at this moment in time. Yeah, but do you think he's going to cut it next season as well as a striker? I maybe think it'll we be bring better him. next season, Miz. Because, you know, first season, maybe, first game maybe. of the Premier League. Like give him give him a chance, boys. Yeah, it'll, it'll maybe. Good, yeah. <laughs> who who'd you, who who'd be your backup then, PC? Oh, Lukaku's coming back, in it? <laughs> nah, that ain't gonna happen, bro. Nah, he's <laughs> gonna have to go. Like, Miz, would you consider? Happen. Would you consider Datro? Uh, I was saying in my video. Anymore. I was saying in my video that I think Datro Fafana would be a decent second option off the bench and keep learning. But I'm not really <laughs> sold with Jackson, to be honest. Like I, I, I like him. I like Jackson. Um, I think he can continue be at Ch- being at Chelsea, and I think he can play out wide as well. But then, if I think about who we're going to get as a striker, bro, our, our owners, our board, they don't want anyone uh, expensive. They don't want to pay anyone more than 150k as well. 
So what does that leave us? Who do? What are the options? To be honest, um, I think I, I saw the suggestion somewhere, and I totally agree. Um, in my opinion, again, as you guys said, Jackson should be trusted. Um, at the same time, we need experience. Like we can bring in like a Juru kind of striker, like we bought in like in twenty nineteen. It's never gonna happen, Bertram. Ha- it's ha- never gonna happen. Ha- Maybe Taremi, bro. I mean, yeah, it's never going to happen. I get you. Do you think the board going to get an uh, over 30 year old? It's never no, going to happen. Taremi is going to uh, Inter Milan. Yeah, Taremi is going to Inter Milan, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I, I'm just but speaking. I, I, I would love a Giroud. You're right. I would love a Giroud type of player, Bertram. I would love mm. it. But it's never going to happen. It'll never happen. Like an yes, experienced striker like that and like an actual top, top attacker. Oh, my goodness. Jackson, all oh, for flip, I think. <laughs> Gallagher is playing like Galadinho, Galadona. Yeah, there's there's uh there's good good play through the middle. Here we go, long range pass over the top. Nicholas Jackson. Oh, keeper read that really really well. Told you, boys. Galadog is gonna run through rings around them. That's my boy. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought we won that ball, mm. but no, it's a foul. What do you always say, Miz? We're gonna jizz all over them. <laughs> we <laughs> jizz all over them. <laughs> We're going to jizz it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen in the live chat, smash the like button. Let's get those likes up to 200 if we can. That would be very appreciated. If we can get to 500 at the end of the stream, I think that will be sensational. So take a moment, smash the like button. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe. We got Lester putting in a cross. Whoa. What a cross. Oh, was that a cross or a shot? Can we just continue? Mad, you know? Whatever that was, that was mad. And it's Sanchez at goal. I'm just like fretting there. Lads, good discussion point as Bertram just brought this up. Thoughts on uh, Sanchez and um, Petrovic? I mean, are any of them fit to be number one Chelsea? Uh, maybe they are. Who's better? Who's not? What in are the my, qualities that you uh, like? I, 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 I think for now, I think for now we like should that. stick with Sanchez. Uh, no, not Sanchez. Petro uh, in goal uh, and develop his footwork. We have Slonina out on loan, doing all right. Uh, he should keep being loaned out until he's ready. Uh, mm-hmm. For me, we need just a new number two. So for me, so Ch- Sanchez, if you can. Only if you can. If mm. you can't, then make him number two. Stick with the goalkeepers. Make Petrovic number one. Do, do you think? Do you think? And and Benji, I agree with you. I I like Petrovic a lot. I think he's very calm. I think he's a very very good shot stopper. I do have suspicion about his ball playing ability. Do you think the ball playing ability can just be? It can just be developed. I feel like yeah yeah, yeah it can. That kind yeah, of stuff can. needs to come yeah. within. No, it does. It actually doesn't. Uh, for me, the ball playing ability, you just have to work on it consistently. And I don't think he does that at Chelsea. To be to be honest, mm. because he's always work. You know, as a goalkeeper, you pro- your first pro- pro- priority should be um, saving shots. Yeah, yeah. That should Shot be stopping. that should that should be number one. And um, that's what he's working on at Chelsea. So I don't think he's working. You know, with his feet so much. So. In my opinion, he should be doing that at its own time. You know, Jackson. this summer, this summer he should be, you know, hiring, you know, a ball playing goalkeeper. You know, where to look, uh, how to be composed on the ball, uh, just mm. to develop, you know, the grounds, you know, uh, and develop from there. So, so, so you're that. happy? You're happy with uh, Petrovic uh, for for the long run, I suppose? Yeah. Yeah. For, for, in the in this goalkeeper market, yes. You know, there's not a lot of goalkeepers that 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 I would go for in this market. Not even Diogo Costa. Di- Diogo, Diogo Costa? Costa. Diogo Costa is very good with his feet, but the cross collection and he's very rash. He's like Onana, mm. but it's better. Don't don't forget his release clause. Yes, yeah, yeah, he's, 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 gonna, co- he's gonna cost a lot of money. He's gonna cost a lot of money. Seventy million. Happen? Oh, Jackson, yeah. go on, go on, Jackson. Kukurea, there we go. One 0 yeah, is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, oh man, my God. Jackson. Jackson, here we go. Jackson, there Jackson, go. Jackson, there Jackson, and crosses the ball in and Kukura open goal. 
Excellent work. Oh. See, this is what, this is what I mean about uh, Nicholas that, Jackson that, that's recently. That's his first goal. That's his first Chelsea goal. Amazing. We are absolutely going to jizz all over them tonight. Well, I hope we do, bro. I hope we do. And I've got all of you guys to jizz all over them together. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a big, big jizz affair. Do you know what I mean? Um, this is what I like about Nicholas Jackson. This is what I've been saying, uh, lads, uh, and, and to the people in the live chat, that his, his overall game has been improving. Look, another assist, beautiful assist that time, finding that spot for um, Kukurea. And Kukurea, first goal for Chelsea Football Club and does an amazing job to to push forward and give an option for Nicholas Jackson. Look at this. One. That's, great that's, one the, from, that's the Kukurea. That's very from right the midfielders. Right that's the yeah, Brighton that, Kukurea. That's the Brighton Kukurea right there. Always yeah. eager to push forward and... and, uh, and Get in and look, top, top work from Nicholas Jackson. Who gave the ball to Nicholas Jackson, first of all? Cole Palmer. By the way? Who? Cole Palmer. Cole. Cole Palmer, of course, of right, course. Jackson ran, in, uh, ran into the channel and then Cole Palmer find him. Uh, lovely, lovely. Magic. Well, let's, we let's, will be good, let's, boys. We will be good. We will be good. Let's trust me. take care of these lot. Let's just take care of these lot, man. For me, this is uh, the training session. Uh, look, I, I said in my preview three nil. So let's see what happens. Yeah, um, is, is, is Karani on the bench? Yeah, yeah Karani on the bench. On the bench. Yeah. I, just, I just wanted to again uh, first to see this game early so we can bring him on for Sterling. I don't think Sterling. I don't think Sterling will go off so so easily. Only if he has a stink up because Poch don't like to take Sterling off for some reason. Let's see what people have to say about Kukurea now. So much hate this guy gets, bro. So much hate. Um, For me, this guy should stay. To be honest, Miss, this guy should stay because tactically, this guy is so good. Like, if you want to play a back, like if you want to invert invert a fullback, you can do that. He can do that. If you want to invert James, for example, after his injury, you can play uh, Kukurea as a uh, LCB and just tuck him in. Oh, there we go, Jackson. Oh, I'm lucky. But you, and just you know tuck what? him in. The, the other, the other factor about Kukure is he's so he's good on the ball, bro. Mudrik's doing all right. Oh, Mud. Whoa. Okay, okay, Mudrick. that is something. That's something okay. to keep an eye on. Mudrik number ten, you know. Mudrik number ten breaking the be... lines brilliantly with his dribble. Oh, his, that is his passing pass. is underrated, man. Yeah, if that pass was a little bit more accurate, I think Jackson was yeah. in for the second there. But Mudrik, brilliant run, man, brilliant run. Has Mudrik finally found his spot, like playing through the middle as opposed to playing out wide? I I, I think he should drift. That's what I think. I sh I think he's more of a drifter because on the wing he do he doesn't have so much support from Kukurea mm. or Ben Chilwell. You know, so, so I think so, so you play... mean as a number 10, he's got a lot more options, yeah? Yeah, he's got a lot more options. You know, he can play one, two, and then run into the uh, running behind, and he then can... he's got his pace to to really burst through the center, yeah. And then I think... he can play, and I he can play that... a lot closer to Jackson, too, because mm -hmm. we all know Mujer, he loves playing with Jackson, you know, the little one, two, Jackson. And... That's beautiful from Jackson the way he trapped that and just. <laughs> He, um, he's a grab drill, his reason. Jackson reasoning. is playing immaculately yeah. right now. Jackson's, Jackson's uh, improving nicely, which is great to see. Ja but yeah, yeah, coming back to that Kukurea point, it's just on the ball, he's so much better. Like, Look, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Defensively, he needs to sort out that rushing in. He does have that tendency to rush in, where if it's someone with a pinpoint accurate pass, you're going to get done if you yeah. rush in. That's the only thing he needs to look out for. Besides that, tactically, Kukure is great to have. He can invert. And Thank we just you. saw how he can he can run as well and uh, as, you know provide an option for for a goal. Sanchez um, is doing some madness. Oh, my God. Oh, my, my God. God. Sanchez, God. what are you doing, of brother? Of course. Here's the ball playing goalkeeper everyone's on about. This guy, bro. This, one thing he's meant to be good at is ball playing, and then look what he does. But was he sleeping? He got... He got He's um, really he seeing there, man. Oh my god. Yeah, that's too. Oh my god, Sterling. Oh my. Oh. Bro, you must be so far ahead, Benji. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep. I'm gonna just keep my my eyes shut. <laughs> Sterling. Oh. He, oh my. Oh my god. Rodrik hits it straight at Sterling as well. 
He's yeah. the next to the sabotage. Oh man, oh, Sterling needs to This is what I mean with Sterling. This is what I mean with Sterling. Just hit it first time. Sterling has to score that, bro. What's up, man? Time. What is like, this? How like, much how did... Nicholas Nicholas Jackson could have had another assist? Oh, Sterling, hit that first go, bro. Hit that first time. And Mudrick, on, Mudrick more, gets it. And, and he it's and Sterling funny. stopped the goal because <laughs> that was probably goal bound. <laughs> Just fucking standing there. Uh, at least jump over the ball, <laughs> Sterling. Nah, do you know what? This guy, he will need to leave at the end of the season, man. Yeah, he, he must. Leave. Brother, not learn Arabic. Arabic. Not time, Arabic. time to learn Chinese or Arabic. Yeah, yeah. Just learn Arabic. Go take. I'm worried he might not want to go. I'm worried that he's just gonna say, "Nah, I'm going nowhere." You they got did. a contract. I'm staying. And they just put him in a car and just like drop him on from an island or something. <laughs> Pepita, hey, Miz, I missed you. How are you doing today? My man, thank you so much. Uh, doing all right. Um, great to see you, my man. Great to see you. It's got to be stolen. Jackson reminds me so much of Gabriel Jesus, you know. But I think he has even a better finishing catalog than him. Yeah, do you know what? I, I, mm, I, not better finishing. It's not tough finishing. to say. Like uh, both of them, Gabriel Jesus as well has got poor finishing. But yeah, look, you know what? Maybe oh maybe goodness. they're similar, bro. Dribbling wise, I think Jackson's pretty good. Gabriel Jesus is pretty good from. Uh, Technical ability as well. I think both players are quite all right. Look at Jackson, man. Jackson's oh. running a muck. Bro, this guy is so good. He is so um, good. Yeah, Bertram, we, should, we should not even think about spending that much on this. Man. But, but Bertram, the only thing Gabriel Jesus has uh, he's got over Jackson is the fact that he's been in the Premier League. Oh, like, I, mean, I, I, I think Jesus' heading game, uh, the game is better though. He's actually pretty good. He really yeah, that's something that Nicholas Jackson, he really needs yeah, to improve. Needs to if, improve he, if, if he improves his headers, I think he could become a very, very good player. No, this is brilliant from Pochettino, man. This is brilliant. Yeah, keep on doing this. You should do this with Enzo too. Do you see how Do you see how we build up now? Yeah, nice build up and, and slow it down sometimes. You don't have to go 100 miles an hour every single moment. Slow it Not down. Not only that, like, man. Caicedo goes between the, the CBs, the yeah, ball yeah, yeah. pushed up, and then yeah. Mudrick comes down. So oh, now Jackson's what a ball had, to Kukurea. Yeah, so now Jack. Nah, you're Jackson right. Yeah. A lot of faith to run in behind. I, I, I like that. I like that. Split the defense and let, let Caicedo dictate the, the build up. Of course. Yeah. D don't forget about Chalaba, boys. He is the OG guy. Ball through. And it's kept in. Nicholas Jackson's there. He's passed it back to Cole Palmer. Yeah, we're all over them now. We, we've got complete control over them now. Rush, rush, rush. Palmer, nice pass to Mudrick. Mudrick, dink little cross. Yeah, they're Mudrick not even keeps... touching Gusto on the right. He's just making that. Why is this run. Like always I getting done one-on-one? -on -one. The Sassy is always getting done one on one. What's wrong with him? And he's our most experienced defender, bro. See, this is why I always say to the fan base calm down, calm down. Like, none of these CBs are. Like, I see people say, oh, Ben Wabadi Shil, he's the next big thing. Desasi, next big thing. Levi Cole, look, I, I rate Levi Cole. Maybe I'm the one culprit to, to promote Levi Cole. Well, no problems about that. But I can still admit, I'm not convinced by any of these defenders yet. Absolutely, I need man. to see consistency. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not going to bend over backwards if I see a master class. Like, this I see put on a master class against Manchester City and everyone lost their minds. Everyone yeah, lost their minds. They, they, they they start, one game. But, JT, but what happened? What happened after that from this I see? Yeah. Oh, oh my days. What Sanchez, what, what are you? Bro, what, what's this goalkeeper doing, bro? He's if playing you can for come out and dive like that, bro. At least punch the ball. He's playing for Leicester. That's what he's doing. But if he's gonna come, if he's gonna come out 
and go for the aren't we? Bro, he fully missed that. What if there was a Leicester player there, just an easy dink header? If Vardy was there, that's a goal. Sheesh. Gotta be careful about the set pieces. We're so poor with the set pieces. Yeah, we we, we got that. Um, yeah, from next season though. From next yeah, season. Yeah, from next season. Finally. <laughs> That that's I'm a solid that. appointment in my opinion. I'm so how you, guys, how you guys feel about Poch's um comments in regards to that? It's it's almost like as if maybe he's not really keen. Maybe he's not it's really kind, keen. It's, it's kind of threatening. No way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kukura. Oh. Guys, we're gonna concede any minute. Oh yeah, that's just a matter of time. Yeah, just yeah, 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 we're gonna concede. We we gotta get another. It's coming, one isn't it? It's coming, isn't yeah, it? It's coming. Mid, you're gonna see. Isn't. You're gonna see the chance. Coming, isn't gonna it? Chance. It's coming, isn't it? Why do we fail? Like we literally about two three minutes ago, we we look like we were in control. Like we've we've got full control of them. Why are we now all of a sudden? Oh, what a pause! Costa, don't fluff this, please. Sterling, don't miss this. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer puts the ball through. Malagusto. Malagusto. Inside the box. Sterling. Thank that's a pen. You. For that's sure, that's a pen. That's He's been you. absolutely oh. spanked, and it's a pen. It's oh, a yeah. pen for Raheem Sterling. But once again, Raheem Sterling just hit it first time, bro. Bro, just hit it first time. What's wrong with this guy? Nah, he's out what of do you need to take I don't know what he's waiting for, man. He's, he's not confident. That's the thing. That's the issue. But Do we have you... VR? VR? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, you know. I don't know whether VR is available. But, but, but the referee what? said that's a pen, though. No, nah, that's, but that, a, pen. that's, that's a, pen. a pen. That's 100% a pen. Look, he was he stops it. He's about to take a shot. Boom, yeah. And then, no oh, way. he got done hard. It's a pen. There is no, no doubt no, about no, this. Man. There's no doubt on this one. There's no doubt that that's a pen. But what's wrong with right. Raheem Sterling? Has he forgotten Guys, Raheem Sterling, Sterling, forgot... Sterling is taking the pen. Why is Raheem Sterling taking oh, the pen? I swear why not just give Cole Palmer? Mistake, man. You know I... why? Because they want to lift his uh, lift his confidence, I think. Maybe that's nah, what they're trying mate, to do. This guy must have a goal bonus in his contract because there's no oh, yeah, way right? he must. Why? He must have a goal been, bonus. Should have, been, should have been Cole Palmer taking this, man. But anyway, look, I just want to win, man. We, we need but, him confident, boys. Look, we need him confident. I mean, a com confident Raheem Sterling is good for all of us. But what, my my thing is, why isn't Raheem Sterling hitting it first time? What's wrong with him? Is he not like thinking about hitting it first time? Oh, for fuck's sake, Sterling! Oh my god! Oh, don't tell me, Benji, bro. Oh. Don't tell me. Do oh, not man, tell me. Do oh, not tell me, Benji. Do oh, not. Do not. Oh my god! That oh, is probably one of the worst penalties I've ever seen, bro. That is one of the worst penalties. That's the worst pen I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that's so poor. Of course, man. Wow. He oh, literally passed it. it to the goalkeeper. This is what I mean. Cole Palmer's taking it. Why do we need to change this? He's oh, not, that is so yeah. poor. That that's is so poor. poor. Yeah, he is. Oh my god, that is so poor. That is disgusting. Oh. Oh, he's he playing didn't... for Leicester. What he's happened to... for Leicester. What happened to power? What happened to position? Oh, bro, you're. Oh, he's so out of no, it, man. Raheem finished. Sterling is so out of it. No, he can't so take finished. shots on first time. He can't make a pass right. He can't do it. None of his decisions are right. And now a penalty. What kind of a penalty I, was that? I, I don't know. Like, how can he bypass a designated <laughs> penalty taker? It's. it's he thinks massive. he's the senior member, so he'll just veto everyone. Bro, Cole Palmer should have said, "Mate, I'm taking this. I'm the I'm the penalty taker. I'm taking it." Miss, we can be three in our lives. There's no leadership. Where's Cole, Where's Where's Conor Gallagher here? Why didn't Conor Gallagher come exactly. in, brother Sterling? Palmer takes this. Exactly. This is where the captain comes in, and whether the captain has cojones to say that. I swear to God, if Enzo was if, if, Enzo, if Enzo was playing, nah, he ain't letting Gallagher. He's taking the pen himself, Enzo, or he's he's giving it to Cole Palmer. Best believe. Enzo is never letting Sterling take that pen. Enzo would have got the ball and would have just given it to Cole Palmer straight yeah. up. I remember him doing that. Remember Enzo did that? Not yeah, that he long did ago, that. a few matches. He picked up the ball. But, I think there was some issues between Raheem Sterling and Cole Palmer again. And Enzo said, shush. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Cole yeah, Palmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cole so Palmer's taking this. 
It was against yeah, it was Man City. city or... No, I don't think it was City, but yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah it was against Man City, city. When, uh, when Sterling wanted to take the pen to equalize to 3 4 4. But gave it to. No. But Enzo said, nah, give it to. Oh, Palmer. that was an easy opportunity for us to be 2 0 up. We should have been 3 0 up, Miz. We should have been 3. This is what I mean. Now, when I see this, if we don't score within 10 minutes, we're done. We need uh, to score. Sterling, Sterling's, he's, he's just out of it. Fully out of it, man. He's fully out of it. Reggie hey. Park, thanks so much for the super chat. Where are the Sterling stands? Oh, Go man. ahead, Gusto. Go I'm, ahead. I'm, I'm one of them. <laughs> oh, oh, That's Gusto. a good build up. Go on. Oh, That's nice. Good. Very oh, nice, oh. Gusto. Beautiful again. Uh, I think it was Cole Palmer and Gusto. Gusto, look switch? at the pace on Gusto. What pace? Wow. Bro, the Palmer-Gusto combination on the right. It's that's beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Do you reckon that's probably one of the reasons why my Dueka just doesn't get a look in at all? I, I hope he does not. Yeah. I think my Dueka needs to be loaned. I hope he needs to be sold. <laughs> I, I like my Dueka points. I, I think there's a player in there. Uh, yeah, I, that's what I'm thinking too. My I think there good. is, but but we need it's... to know how to utilize him I, because do you know what TC? He's so left, uh, sorry, he's so right sided. It kind yeah. of diffuses Malagusto's game. Yeah, um, true. True. so we do need to figure out how you're going to utilize Madueke. If Madueke was able to play in the half spaces where he can pick the ball and turn, but Madueke can't do that. He, it, you know, that's you know... where Cole Palmer is so good. He's able to play in the half spaces. When when I see Madueke, I think he's like the ideal fit for Crystal Palace. That's why I think of like swapping him mm. for Elise, if, if it's possible. Yeah, oh, that one never. And happen. you know you're gonna get a lot more output from Elise. He's just such a creative half. Yeah, he, he, he will be like goals. your poster boy, man. He's like a perfect yeah. man we need. Yeah, you're right. But the thing is, how do you combine Palm? Oh, fuck off! If they score. <laughs> if they <laughs> score, oh, they are all so good. Today. Here they come, here they come, here comes Lester, here comes Lester. Desassi, man. Desassi again with another nut job of a defense and Kukurea saves him. I can't Kukurea believe and Sanchez, the, the Brighton connection, bro. <laughs> People really call Desassi the black JT, man. Really? Nah, bro, nah, Desassi, nah, he's nah, got nah, a lot nah, of work nah. to do, bro. He's, oh, bro, that was pathetic slide, bro. What was yeah. he sliding into? That's sad. It, it makes me tear when Desassi is like 25 years old, man. He's 25, no, 26. Sanchez, this guy. No, no. Take Sanchez off now. Take him off. What, what What's happening? Let me have a look. Let bro, me have a look. This, Corner coming yeah, in. I'm... Corner coming in. Sanchez again. Airborne. Airborne Sanchez. God, but what's this Sanchez doing? But all he's doing Sanchez. is going and diving in and he's not even reaching the ball. He's we got two imposters on the choice. field. We got two imposters uh, on the field. Do you know what I feel? I think Sanchez is rattled by the fact that Petrovic is a better shot stopper. Like he's rattled that he's he makes sounder decisions in yeah. the box. True. That's true. I think it hurt and him. Now, and now he's trying to do too much. Now Sanchez is trying to do too much. And that too to Vestergaard, man. Vestergaard is like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, that guy is huge. Please. Please be injured. Or I don't hope for injuries. <laughs> no. I don't hope for injuries. No, like him, too funny, bro. Manji, you're too funny, bro. Please be injured. Please be injured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please come off. Please come off. You're too it's, funny, Benji, bro. No, but like, please, just have a setback just for this game. <laughs> just have a setback. Just please, for this just game. have a setback for this match. <laughs> this match. Just, just make a... Okay. Make the sub. Make the sub. Even TC saying make the sub. Yeah, man, make uh, the sub. This guy's, go. this guy's stocks go. are down, huh? This guy's stocks are he's, down. He's rattled. Bro. He's absolutely rattled. <laughs> I don't By the way, lovely... Bro, you speak Spanish. How can't you communicate with Caicedo or... Bro, this guy is washed. He's finished. Petro he's like a lack of communication. Like, how can he can, be so brain dead, man? Can someone tell me um, Nicholas Jackson's stats for this season? So far, goals and assists um, in all competition? Live chat or anyone? I think it's on 15, right? 15 GA. Nine goals and... Oh, 14. 14, I think. Or 12. 14 goals. Yeah, 14. No, not 14 goals. Not I think it was nine, goals. nine goals and five assists, right? Stick. Nine goals and five assists? That's is, is that, goals, I think is that's that just a prem or all comps? 
Not all comps, all comps. Because obviously comps, this is the FA Cup. All comps, yeah. All comps. So how, how many goals does he have in the Prem though? I think seven goals in the Prem. I think seven, seven, seven oh, because God. he scored two in the Carabao Cup. Man. And if he scores near like 13, 14, that's like actually a very good return. Like equaling time. 100%, man. 100%. And there's enough games for him to reach that. But I like the fact that he's getting assists as well. Um, I know. If yeah. he, honestly, if he can have a 10 10, I think that, that'd be mad. You know, yeah, and, that, and, and, and one thing is he has a stat pattern gene. That's very important. Yeah. It'd be yeah, better than Robger's first season. There we go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Off you go. Would be very Off true, you go. True. Okay, Chalaba. Oh, good defending, Chalaba. Good defending. Chalaba. Nice. Come on. Come on, Mudrik. Mudrik. Mudrik's picking up these nice What's little pockets of spaces, going? man. Where? What's Mudrik going to do? Oh, oh what a rocket doing? shot, Mudrik, out of nowhere. The wow. fuck are we doing? That's sick, man. Mudrik's got a lot of power, bro. You monkey. Why are you taking the shot? Wait. Benji, you're okay. going to get me. Um, you're going to oh, get me. Oh, Mudrik is our future husband. Yeah, yeah. You know what? When I'm a curse, I'm going to just mute myself. Yeah, don't get me banned, bro. All right, I need the channel. All right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I really apologize. That's all right. That's yeah, all right. Uh, Damon, thank you so much for the super chat. Jackson is already better than Torres for Chelsea. Um, do, do, you guys, yeah. do you guys think? Yeah. yeah. Do, do you guys think Mudrik stand is like the bail right winger moment? That's the equivalent of it. Mudrik to ten. Can I ask you boys a question? Maybe, maybe, Petra, man, maybe. Yeah, go on, TC. What's up, bro? What What's the deal with Chelsea and strikers? Why Why do strikers come here and end up absolutely horrible? I think it's not to do with the strikers themselves. It's like our poor planning. Especially yeah, I think it's, after, okay, I I think it's the service. After Costa, our planning, squad planning has been absolutely piss poor. Yeah. And yeah. we have not planned for the coach or for the player. The compatibility has been absolutely bad. So that's yeah. basically it. The fit's never been good after that. And not not just that, no TC. Like If you look at the strikers we bring in, we don't seem to put a game plan based on the striker. Like You bring in a yeah. striker, you got to have other players to support that striker. You look at Erling Holland, for example. Man City run yeah. e almost everything through Erling Haaland. They always look up and they try and get to Erling Haaland. They try and get him involved, especially KDB, that's for sure. But at Chelsea, like we, we don't have those type of players that can always try and find that striker. So that's why strikers have struggled here because you don't get the service they at Chelsea. They always start well, Miz. They always start well. Like rem Remember... Um... Uh, Lukaku. Timo, when, yeah, when he Lukaku first came started in. well as well. Lukaku, Lukaku. started well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but what's, then... what's the other guy we got from Atletico? What's his name? Um... Mor Morata. 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 Yeah, Morata was that starting. He did in, his, in, the, in that game. I was like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Morata was doing. Morata, I think, a it was wild, different you issue. Did you see the pass? That was a yeah, that was an right unbelievable pass. pass. Bro, who was that pass? Who put that pass? Sanchez. Sanchez. Credit to him. Look at this face. Very good pass all the way to Cole Palmer. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I just saw it. But once again, like, just basketball game happening again, man. Just one into another, one into another. There's no midfield. Boy, I wish we had Jorginho right now. Yeah, there'll just be so much control. Um, Mudrik wins the ball back, which is great. Cole Palmer now again with the ball. Lovely for Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer drifting inside. Finds the ball oh. out wide to... What happened? Oh, okay. Slow the game down. Yeah, it's Bro, the game down. Yeah. So no, no, good, smart, man. smart, smart, smart. Correct. Just slow it down Don't a little be. bit. Let's just, let's just, you know, let's just um, sit in here. Let's sit in. Find that nice pass and then, you know, capitalize. Far out, man. I can't believe we missed that penalty, man. Where's Sterling? Since that penalty, this guy's been missing. I've not seen Sterling. Where is he? <laughs> but where is he? <laughs> But that guy's hiding or something. <laughs> Honestly, since that miss of the penalty, I've not seen that guy, bro. Has he touched hey, the ball? He's just waiting for the ball to come to him so he can make another miss. Though. Where is he even in the screen? I can't even see him. Hey, that's a yellow. That's a yellow. It's fresh. Chalabar. Hey, Miss. Cucurea. 
unrelated to oh football. there he is finally oh what's up beautiful jackson. ufc style uh, takedown from faz hey, Miz. credit to jackson bro he's doing well, that was jackson yeah Miz, i've got a question for you talk to me brother have you watched the uh, spanian's video of alice springs no, I haven't, bro. Is it nice? You should, you should, uh, you should check it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to go to Alex, uh, Alice Springs, man. I really do one day. I want to go there. I'm here right now. I'm here right now. You don't want to come here. You don't want to come here. Is it hot? Is it really uh, hot? It's it's very hot, but uh, like the town as well. Like I grew up here, and then I moved to Adelaide, and then oh, I've okay. just moved back uh, for the family okay. and work. But I I want to run away. Okay. I've seen Why? two snakes at my house uh, in, <gasps> in the space of one week. Whoa. Uh, big ones too, not like little, uh, like half decent size. Bro, there must just be so many snakes there, right? In Alice yeah, no. there's so many infested it by is, it. Uh, bro. And then in the town as well, there's so many fights, man. Every day I've been at work, there's a fight outside. Australia oh, it's a, a really, really so it's, strange. So, so TC Alice Springs is a bit of a, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a hole, huh? It's a bit of a hole. It's a big hole now. Wow, man, that's... I would love to visit Australia, man. I would love to visit Australia. <laughs> not to, um, not to be, not because because, you know, the weather is perfect. Like the partying is crazy. The Irish people love Australia because. You know, it's a lot of drinking and, you know, the weather's always good. So, it's just the snakes. I thought it was man. too hot, to be honest. Every, every little creature here can kill you, man. Bro, yeah. I'm yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. The, the thing about me, I hate snakes. And the video There's I've seen of plenty, Australia, man. oh my goodness. Plenty. The wow. snake was like, oh, crazy. that was close. Where, where I'm at is like the middle of nowhere, so it's a desert, but it's a live desert. So... But that's mm. also shame because, because exists around here. That's also shame because all the big cities in Australia, they they like in the in the coast of the country. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I mean, so, I mean, I'm in Sydney, man, I, and honestly, I've been in many places around the world. <sighs> I love Sydney, man. I really do. Sydney's um, beautiful, man. Like, I, it's, I, it's I really there's a lot of there's yeah. a lot of Asian community in Sydney. Yeah, heaps, heaps, bro, heaps. Heaps. What, what what's the time? Time, what's the time time like for you guys there? Bangladesh. Um, time here in Sydney is twelve twenty six a.m. So it just oh, crossed bro. midnight. Oh yeah. damn! Yeah, here I just woke up right now. Um, I'm at eleven. Ashraf saying right PYS, 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 PYS. Pochettino doesn't have a dedicated penalty taker. Palmer is supposed to share duties with Sterling, Enzo, and others. What is this? What is this? What is this shared duty? Oh, no, the, been that, bro. Been the, that. Be crap. Yeah, it, 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 it's that, a, it's uh, who it's the just, hell is that? Yeah, it's just PR to like keep the. Yeah, it must uh, be PR. Okay. No, no, no. Like, oh, don't get like, upset sport. with Sterling. Oops. Like, yeah, it's probably PR. You're right. You're right. Let's That's not true. get upset with Sterling. No one knows who's the designated. You know, they've not really decided. Like, what is this? What do you mean you have not decided? Cole Palmer has been doing well, taking penalties. Just make it Cole Palmer. Let's see. No, it, it, it's actually genuinely insulting because they think, like, we are so stupid. Yeah, we are. That's what. This is why I hate some of the news lately. Like, they, they really think fan base is stupid. And you know what, Bertram? There are a few that are stupid, actually. Oh, yeah. More than a few, believe bro. everything. More than a few. They believe anything. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if I hear PYS say we don't, you know, penalty take it is Nkunku. And, you know, since Nkunku, we haven't picked one. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Imagine that, bro. That I, could swear, be I wouldn't be surprised if Pot says that in the first conference. Oh, my. Bro, this Are game... they going to score? Are they going to score? Oh, Sanchez, thank you. Thank you for collecting the ball for once. Cole Palmer now with the ball. Early release from Sanchez. Oh, oh yeah. Cole Palmer. What was that, that brother? Is... He's trying to find Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling is not interested. Raheem Sterling doesn't want to touch the ball. He don't want to be there. Take him off. Take him off. I would Raheem like Sterling to see him come off the half time, but that's not going to happen, to be honest. Uh, look at this guy. Uh, Miz now is always a hothead. Ooh, it's a great pass. Go on. Oh, 
what what did yeah. I become a hothead about? Oh, lads, was I a hothead about something that I missed? I don't know. Nah, just ignore this, Miss. Nah, it's yeah. always the usual idiot. Number one bullshitism. I mean, yeah, I yeah, bet I if you know. check his Twitter feed, he's like getting on the owner's case every moment. He's like lurping them every time. I don't know. Sometimes I just see random people just comment and have a go at me, and I'm like. Just burners. No, did I even say anything? I'm not even sure. I don't even remember. It is, is a one person creating burner account that's coming out for you. Just jobless <laughs> activities. <laughs> Why do they do this? What a waste of time. Mm. Actually, come and have a conversation. Just have a it conversation. Was, these other people wouldn't say to your face, Miss. They wouldn't. I know. They absolutely wouldn't. Oh, Gallagher, you see that? That's oh, like a well done look at that. What a boss. The way he was, and, and of course, Raheem Sterling almost lost it. Exactly. He, he's just guy. more than running around, man. No, nah, Raheem Sterling's not interested, man. He's not interested. The I don't get it. Is Raheem food. Sterling playing in the 10? Because yeah, they're, 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 yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're, change they're changing. Roles. They're changing. They're changing. Yeah, they're they changing. Right? They interchange, yeah. But I think he needs to interchange to the bench. <laughs> <laughs> interchange yourself off. Oh, no, go man, I feel sad. Sterling, I feel sad. If you, uh, this, if there we go. And we scored another one. Uh, Sanchez, what a ball again. Jackson. Ball. Through ball. Raheem Sterling. Raheem. Raheem, the dream. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm not surprised oh, anymore, bro. I'm oh not surprised God. anymore. I haven't, oh seen, it, I haven't no, like... seen it, I haven't seen it, I haven't oh seen it, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it. Oh my god. Nah, this guy gotta go. Dude. Oh my god. Who put that ball through? Who Jackson, put that ball through? Jackson, Jackson. Oh bro, Jackson. he deserves at least three assists, Jackson, in this half. He's, there we um, go. Sterling is playing for Leicester. Just check his bank account, I am sus. What? What was that from? Oh my! Nah, man, it's over. I'm sorry. I've even, been telling even everybody I'm, about even this guy. Even I'm now over it. Even I'm now over it. <laughs> But I love this guy. I'm now over it. I just oh. want some like a Leicester defender to take one for the team, just like break it. Guys, How guys, did, did you that? see the other angle, bro? This guy. How did he miss that? Here we go. Here we go. Sterling, one v one. Oh, oh my god! Oh, he's wow. so bad. He's wow. so bad, man. Sterling, are you gonna score now? Are you gonna score? Wow. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yes. Cole. Call finally oh, that's two. Well, we haven't seen it. We haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen here it. Yeah, here we go. Raheem Sterling inside the box. Raheem Sterling inside the box. Cross coming. Oh, what a finish! Cole Palmer. He, he saved Sterling's uh, backside. Bro, oh, Raheem Sterling gets be, himself oh, an assist by Cole Palmer. Like what Palmer. a finish! Yes, another really goal for the Cole Palmer. Yeah. How many is that for Cole Palmer in all competition? This must have it's a lot of goals. 22, right? I mean, yeah, GNA. No, no, it's 20 because he had 19. He had 19 wow, GNA. Cole Palmer. It's, it's, it's 20 now. Beautiful finish. Cold finish from the Cole Palmer. What and Raheem story. Sterling, you got away, brother. You Fair got yourself play. an assist. And you no, must he thank. didn't get away. No, 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 Miss, don't be nice. He didn't get no, away. No, I can't be nice. He, no, I can't be nice. I was, I was <laughs> trying to be sneaky. Right the I was trying to be sneaky. Right the dream alone. We love no, him. I was trying to be <laughs> sneaky, bro. You know, he's my man. You know what I mean? Like, I was this this to guy won't get away. This this guy, <laughs> we, we should be minimum <laughs> throwing it up. That's, that's a striker <laughs> finish. That's like a huge finish. You know? yeah, that like is a striker finish. finish, bro. That's beautiful strike. Oh, la, la. See how he wrapped his leg around. Like, he just wrapped his leg around that ball. That's a proper striker finish. Yeah, like that a is a proper striker finish. finish I'm, not even bothered to, I'm not even bothered to talk about the goal. I'm just so disappointed. We should be 4-0 up. This, bro, this game should be a training session. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. So we should be... be I'm, I'm almost should. there with my 3-0, you know. Someone commented in my comments saying, Miz, that's very arrogant of you to predict 3-0. And that's I replied scary. back saying, I'm sorry if I'm uh, arrogant. I'm almost we're there. Going. One more goal. We're gonna we're, we're gonna concede, boys. Oh Three no, one. go on. Three one. Oh no. Now come on, come on, come on, come on. Raheem Sterling again. Oh no. Oh, bro. What are you doing, Raheem Sterling, shot. bro? Oh, go on, go on, goodness. go on. Boy. <sighs> he passes it on to him, man. Is he blind? <laughs> no, Sterling gotta have an eyesight <laughs> problem. He needs to get, this guy. He, he gotta work off this man. Just, just, just check his bank account at the halftime. I'm <laughs> check actually... his bank account. <laughs> check that. Get him to send me the bank statements now. I'm sure Vichai is doing some mad shit behind the scenes. 
Do you know what? Shout out to Conor Gallagher, bro. He's been doing a mad job in midfield, man. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. He's you been... Telling you, dog, that's man. my boy right there. Dog. It's Gallagher. Yeah, no, nah, he's been Gallagher. dogging. He's been dogging everywhere. He's been a good boy. <laughs> he's been a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. He's been a good thing. boy. <laughs> that's a yellow card. That's a yellow card, surely. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer. Oh, a lot of ball from Cole Palmer through. Yes. Yes. Yeah, give him a yellow. Come on. You got to be a yellow. You, you ain't getting... Come on. Bro, it's just referee. It's too um, easy, bro. It's too yeah, easy. Here's a question for the panel. Uh, so if you guys uh, have like a... Cent- if you guys buy a center back, who you prefer to target for the summer? Not the board. Not the board's going to get. What do you uh, prefer to target? It's gonna, it's gonna, like, not, like, like my preferred, no my kids, own right? preferred. Yeah, yeah. For the center, my back. own preferred center <laughs> back. Mm. I would take. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? What's the? How much are we spending? That's now your question. own preferred. Your own preferred. My own preferred. Yeah, bro. Uh, okay, so Half get away all like the kids. It. Get away all the kids. So I would target Jonathan Tarr from uh, Leverkusen. He's been oh, okay. phenomenal this season. Uh, or I would get. Oh, uh, Raheem Sterling. He's struggling, bro. The the assistant manager just walked up. I think Tapsoba is better than Ta, to be honest. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, is do you do you ask this question like like we can actually get this player or is it like whoever I want to? I think whoever I want, I mean, whoever you let, want. Let's, I think let's give it. Let's, yeah, let's give it that's like larger. minimum realistic as possible. Let's not say Van Dyke, but if we want to blow like eighty million, say like upper bound, who? Who would you prefer target be? Oh, at a half from uh, from Barcelona. Yeah, that's that was kind of easy. Oh, at a half from Barcelona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. from Barcelona. That's that's one hundred million uh, because they're gonna sell him in the summer because they're broke. So if we could get someone, I will I will get him. I think um, I don't think they'll be sold though, because he's Barca's best defender. You know. Yeah, 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 but they look, need money. Yeah, that's this, the funny this thing. Where, this is where this conversation like realistic what do we want what's going to happen it's very difficult that's why i always try and revert back to board under 23 mm, true. you know maximum 150,000 um yeah. that's how i look at it uh, do you know what that everton defender breathway he might he's be a good. bit of a shout he might he be a bit of a shout good. but we, but is he really an experienced figurehead domes no he's not he's not but he's is not. is the board looking for experience they're not I, I just want to see. I have. I have no hope, but I just. I'm curious to see what they're going to execute. Though. Are they really going to replace Silva with Euro or some kind of kid again? hundred percent. It will Euro, probably be Euro, Euro, but it will like be a Diamande. It will be a Jean Claude Tudibo. Jean Claude Tudibo. Yeah, whatever his name is, Jean Claude Van Damme. Um, to be honest, I think they'll go for the French guys, like the French speaking guys, because we have so many French defenders. I wouldn't be surprised if we go for like a, a Tobido or like a Euro or it's, even Diamonde, because Diamonde right. he can play. He, Diamonde can play holding DM and CB. Don't be so surprised, be surprised if it's uh, Mark Gihi as well, bro. His name's been floating around, so don't be surprised. Now. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, Miss, because right. we have a twenty. We have a twenty percent sell on close. So Let's that's a bonus for us. Talk about the half time, what we've seen so far in the first half. But before we do that, donation, thank you so much for the super chat. Poch Barbecue FC has to build with Cold and Mudri. Cole Palmer, look, Cole Palmer, sensational. Someone please put the stats for Cole Palmer in the live chat for me. Goals and assists all throughout this season in all competition. Amir, big up to you, my man. How you doing? Hey, hi, hi, Miss. Hi, hi, everyone. I'm doing great. Uh, good first half, except like we should have been 4 0 up or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think Raheem Sterling should be off. He should be off. Getting Washington, getting Chukwumeka, whoever you want. Get but Chukwumeka Sterling has to be at off. least. Yeah, get Chukwumeka. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. Look, that first half was a very, very good first half overall from Chelsea. <laughs> I don't know whether. Did Les really do. I, don't, I can't remember. Have they really got any good chances in that match? In that, that really. it's Not just Sanchez really. yeah, parks, that's it. Yeah, well, it's really just Sanchez causing his own issues. But I, I don't think Leicester really created anything themselves, have they? I don't Sanchez remember. Sanchez has been worse than Kepa. I mean, he should be 
like he has that height advantage but he's been absolutely trash on corners yeah he's, he's been, been trash on Kepa. corners no he yeah, has I been mean, trash on corners yeah. um Cole Palmer 14 goals 11 assists oh my god what a return that's phenomenal return. Number. that is big numbers big big numbers. numbers um for me ladies and gentlemen that half sanchez poor very very poor not happy with him there there were a couple of really good distributions from him but there were also a couple of really bad distributions as well but his goalkeeping ability has been very bad um chalaba actually has been very solid desasi not so solid Marlo Gusto has been running amok on that right side. He's been just going strength to strength. Kukurea, very strong as well. Defensively, actually helped out quite a few times. Um, and also, obviously, scoring that goal. His first goal for Chelsea Football Club ran and, and supported Nicholas Jackson. So, kudos to um, you know um, Kukurea for doing that um, and deserved that goal. In midfield, I must say both the players, Kaiseido and Gallagher, has actually been very, very good. Not that we've been controlling the midfield, not from that perspective, but more Kaiseido from the build-up. I feel like he was very, very good. Conor Gallagher has been breaking down the play, intercept intercepting wherever he can. So he's been doing that. It has been a bit of a basketball game here and there, um, which where we need to be a little bit better. Up front, Cole Palmer gets the goal. Lovely finish, as Bertram said. That that was that was like a that was like a striker's finish, to be honest. Um, Raheem Sterling. Oh my god, we will talk about Raheem Sterling on a separate very, very soon. Nicholas Jackson, strength for strength, man. This guy's getting better and better every game. Another assist. Honestly, I think Nicholas Jackson deserved at least three assists in that first yeah. half itself. So he he's missed out. Um, have I missed anyone else? Sterling. They Jackson, Cole Palmer. Modric. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, Mudrik, Mudrik. How can I forget about Mudrik? Mudrik was very, very good in that number 10 position. He's He was driving the ball very good, dribbling very good. Um, just, yeah, the, the final passes are just a little bit hit over hit. If he just manages to get that right, I think he'll get himself quite a few assists as well. Um, Bertram, I'll start with you. Is that how you saw the match as well? How, what do you think about that first half? Um, we absolutely dominated them, um, even though it was a uh, NBA game. Uh, as I said, uh, it was a couple of Sanchez brain farts and a little bit of like uh, defensive lapses in there. But apart from that, like we actually played really good football in the half. And uh, if Sterling was not on Leicester's payroll, we would be like coasting through right now. Oh, I just want that guy off for Karn. Uh, before we talk about Sterling, I just want to quickly talk about um, Maurizio Pochettino. I'll go to TC first up. TC, look, we always talk about Poch needs to go, Poch needs to go, Poch has to go, this, that, the other. These players, they don't look like they're down toolings on this manager. Like They no, really no. don't look like they, they, they want him gone. Absolutely not. I, I can see the players are trying. I, I, I understand the inconsistency. Um, yeah. Overall, yeah, I get it. You know, we hate Poch because of Spurs and whatnot. But overall, I'm, like I was saying before, I'm still not Poch out because I understand what what's going on in the in the club. Mm. So for me, I I can see the players are trying for him. So yeah, I'll go with that. No, fair point, man. Fair point. Um, Benji, my man, Raheem Sterling, bro, this guy is just just declining, man. Every match is just declining. What a pathetic penalty. What a 1v1 pathetic miss as well. Yes, okay, you got yourself that assist, but that's because lovely finish from Cole Palmer. I'm scared for Raheem Sterling, Benji. I really am. Man, to be honest, I muted myself three four times because I was having a mental breakdown. <laughs> uh, and I promised myself today I wasn't, I wasn't going to react at all, but Clearly, I did. So, you know what? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so sick and tired of this player because, like, you can see, you can see what he's trying to do. Like, but he wants to be the main man, bro. I'm sorry, you cannot be the main yeah, man. Like in this club, you cannot be the main man. I'm sorry. Like, I can give the main man to you know, the Cole Palmers, the you know, the the Jacksons, and even Midrick when you know his confidence starts to get up a little bit. Yeah, they can be the main man. For you, yeah. nah, you showed me a lot of times this season, three on two, three on one, two on one. Bro, you just yeah. keep fluffing these chances. You just keep fluffing these chances. Like, true, we true. shouldn't, 
like, I can just say this, like, we should be a minimum three and four nil up in this game. Minimum it's, three. Yeah, minimum and, three. And definitely four is a good shout. Four is a good shout. For me, for me, four. That, that, that one be one with the goalkeeper. That should be a goal. The pen should be a goal. So that's four goals that we should yeah. have in, in the bank. But this guy just keep on fluffing these opportunities. And this guy is so... I don't want to ban you, Mr. But he's so bad. He's so bad. He's so inconsistent. So I need this guy to leave. That, bro, that's yeah. literally what I need him to do. This guy needs to leave. Bro, leave my club ASAP and bring in another winger. If we're going to trust Mudrik, let's trust him. Because I'm so sick and tired of uh, Raheem Sterling. Bro, you're 28 years of age and you're playing like a 14-year-old kid. It doesn't make sense. Bro, the math is not mathing. The age is not aging. I don't get it. The so age this, is not aging. Bro, the age is not aging. So this guy needs to go. Bring in the young kids because really they are actually fighting for Pochettino to stay. And I really respect that. As much as I hate Pochettino, we got to respect that for the players because they are fighting for their lives to get goals. To, to Yeah, and to, they look like to, they want to improve. They look like they really want to live up to our expectations and, and yeah. turn things around. Um, DOF, brother, good to see you, man. Always a pleasure to have you in the in the building. What would you think about that first half, bro? Yeah, good um, Good afternoon. Good day, everyone. Sorry. Big up, guys. Um, Big up the, to you, bro. Yeah, bro. Um, it's been good. Oh, by the way, means, um, I, I saw the pictures. I, I think I commented um, the your, your daughter's birthday. We've not gotten to speak since you. then. Yeah, happy really. birthday to your birthday. <laughs> appreciate, <it. laughs> appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. No Thank worries. You. So the first half, as, as always, was good. Or rather, not as always, sorry. I take that back. The first half was good. And then um, Leicester was open. We were open as well. And like, was it Benji or one of us said, it should have been up to four goals, to be honest. But again, Sterling is yeah. Sterling. And <laughs> well, someone, a big account tweeted on Twitter it's, saying... It's sad to see, isn't it, Theo? If, like Sterling, like a guy who's meant to be... All meant to be the experienced guy, man. What's going on? Well, um, if you've been following Sterling, which I'm sure everybody has, there's always a level of inconsistency when it comes to Sterling, right? And some of these um, chances that is fluffing are not far-fetched, to be honest. However, that does not excuse him from losing those chances or, sorry, from not burying them as well. So for me, um, I'm a bit indifferent about Sterling, to be honest. I'm a bit indifferent. So if he stays, good. If he leaves, good. But for now, whatever he does... <laughs> I, I, I well, it basically doesn't bother your life one bit. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. relationship. But do you have... <laughs> If, 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 if you think about it, bro, this guy through his whole career, he hasn't been this bad. I've never seen Sterling miss these type of chances. Like, this is, mm. like, Sterling always misses, you know, the, 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 the complicated one where you need to pass. You know, he'll just do the wrong decision. Yeah, that's fair. That's Sterling. I know that type of player. But these type of chances, this is not the Raheem Sterling that I was waiting for when we bought him for 56 million. Do you know what, Benji? Do you know what, Benji? I think he's aware that the Chelsea fan base are on him and it's really got to his head now. And now he's scrambled. Now he's yeah. scrambled. But the and worst part is if you're yeah. an experienced player and that is allowing your mind to, to fall into this trap, you know, where the Chelsea fan base is after you. You're an experienced player. I, I fully expect you to rise above, rise above and, and, and own, but you're collapsing. You're collapsing. Well, um, again, to be honest, Sterling is, is Sterling. We have seen him miss so many chances like this, even at City, at Liverpool and all that. So for me, I am not, uh, what's the word? I'm not first, to be honest. If he, if he stays, he stays. If he leaves, he leaves. So, But one thing I, I know about Sterling, is depending on the players around him, he tries to pull himself up. So in this environment, maybe comfort is playing too much into his head, such that he feels like, okay, he's the most experienced um, frontline attacker we've got. That way, there's no reason to push himself some more. And then again, when you have a coach like Poch, who probably is more, um, what's the word now, is more relaxed as well, and gives you the room to, to do whatever you want to do, quote and unquote, do whatever you want to do. 
So it's it's mm. it's quite it's kind of a recipe all playing together, such that um it is what it is. Why did he leave City in the first place? Because he wasn't getting chances anymore, and because mm. he couldn't. I mean, players were coming in and and all, and he knew definitely his time was up. But right now, so sometimes maybe all of these things put together, but again, it doesn't take away from the fact that Sterling will always remain Raheem, Raheem in the sense that he has always been inconsistent. So it's just what it is. True talk, man. True talk. But he's, uh, he's a lot of money, man, in the books. And um, right now, that money is not justified. And sad part is um, he's on his second year of the contract. So he's got three more years left. He's in no obligation to leave. But the only way he can deal with this is potentially it's time to probably bench him and give the minutes to someone else and this is where i think pochettino really needs to start what do we want to achieve like we've looks like hopefully we will go through this particular match we'll go into the semi-finals and then we'll, we'll see who we face in the semi-finals in the fa cup but i feel like there's still some things that we can salvage in the premier league you know we've got you know 10 games to go we could do some level damage. We can make people upset, especially Arsenal. We got a fixture against Arsenal coming up. We can make them upset. Um, but if we continue persuading, uh, you know, per, 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 if we continue per persevering with Raheem Sterling, he can potentially keep missing like this. So do we get to a point where we just go, you know what? Let's let's give someone else an opportunity now on a full time basis, and um, Raheem Sterling can come off the bench. I mean. Poch has got to make that big decision now, right? Of course. Of course, 100 percent He's got to make that decision, but I'm afraid he won't be able to. Because um the truth is this Poch is still under pressure, regardless of whatever we're doing at the moment. So whether it's at, at the end of this at the end of the season or next whenever, he's still under pressure to deliver something. So for me, he's still gonna count on experience a bit. And the reason why I'm not pushing for Sterling to, like, I'm not actively pushing for Sterling to be sold is, again, as we all know, we don't know what exactly we're going to get. Should Sterling leave? Are we getting another 18, 16-year-old whom we're going to have to wait for years for again um, for him to come to fruition and all that? So for me, to be honest, um, I just feel like for Sterling, I'm, I'm indifferent. To be, mm. <laughs> I, and I don't think Poch will do much because... He also knows he's under pressure to deliver something. Because don't forget, this new ownership are going to be looking for something to hold on to. Two years of consistent, like we would say, failure, or in the words of Miz, um, mm. they failed magnificently and all that. They would, they need something to hold on to. So that's just what I, that's just how I feel. And DOF, I, I completely agree. And for me, I just wanted to add, this is why I need a captain, not like JT, but I need a captain with character. I don't, I don't want this quiet type of captain because when I hear the word captain, I hear, yo, you keep everybody in place. If someone is playing bad, you take them by the scruff of the neck and you shout at them and you talk or you talk to them like in a serious type of manner. Like when you're like, hey, Sterling, you're going to fuck it all. I mean, you're going to freaking bag that chance or you're going to get out. You have to you have to raise your level of standards. Like, you need to talk to these... Like, these players aren't kids, but they just need that that dog that will just bring out the best out of them. If that's what kept on... Yeah, that, need that. Basically, what you're saying is we need that ruthlessness. Um, yeah. Second half has just started, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're off again. Um, I'm on 46 minutes and 53 seconds, 54 seconds, 55 seconds. Cross coming in from Leicester, and it's been well defended once again by Kukurea and Mudrik. Beautiful. Great, man. You're right. Well done, Mudrik. Oh, well done, Mudrik. Wow. Mudrik with the strength and then the dribbling. Palmer there. Palmer. Nicholas Jackson. Palmer. 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 Oh, I thought he was going to shape up for a shot. Oh, he should have taken a shot, Palmer, man. Oh, Conor Gallagher lucky. out wide to Kukurea. Very, very impressed by Mudrik. Maybe Mudrik needs to probably take Sterling's spot from now on, man. But then, who do you put out wide over there, I suppose? Um, I think uh, Jackson can go wide and then maybe we can put Washington up front. I mean... Why? I what? Washington has not even played two games. Bro. Now. 
I wouldn't Bro. trust Washington Super this late less. in the season. Less. You know what I would do? Obviously, obviously, Enzo Fernandez needs to come back. So yeah. you would have, you would have, you know what? Maybe Gallagher needs to start playing on the left side. He did play that last game against yeah, Newcastle. Well. He, he covered for Kukureya pretty well. But, I, but, I think but, maybe Gallagher needs to play there now, man. But for yeah. me, do you, do you play Gallagher as a, like as an inside ten almost like an inside ten? Uh, yeah, sort of like an inside in in the half spaces and and yeah. more tucked in, more tucked in as a midfielder really, and just allow for Kukurea to just bomb forward and give then that width. Then I will actually then allow Carney to play there instead if he's fit. That's a good. That's a good shout. That's a good shout. Because Maybe just Carney, let Carney Car- Car- make a play. Carney there. in the half space is very very. He's very very good. Um, yeah, he can come with Jackson with the wingers. Can come they drop into midfield so Kukurea can bomb forward. That's uh, yeah, that's true. But um, he does not have Gallagher's ball winning abilities to, yet, though. So that he's also true. That that is also true. Yeah, defensively he doesn't have that quality. You're right. You got to have a balance. You have to yeah. have a balance. Man, we balance. already are midfield is like a butter anyway. So oh my god, fall through. Raheem Sterling, oh, oh my days, he fell over, but why at least we got the ball. Why is he Bro, what's yeah, this? Yeah, why is he on the pitch? But at least what we still I got watching? the ball. Um, Cole Palmer, ball, that's uh, an easy collection for the no, goalkeeper. Nothing is going right for Sterling today, bro. Yeah, nah, he's, um, in, in these moments, I feel like Poch, you're probably doing more harm by keeping him there. He's... But then again, if you hook him off, then his confidence fully gone. But look, it, it is what it is. Right now, it, nothing's clicking with him. Nothing is clicking with him. Have you noticed his body language? He seems like... Yeah. You know, I mean... He seems defeated. He seems defeated. Oh his, his body gosh. language is bad as well. Bro, we are playing so good. Look, how good look what we happened. Kopama. Kopama. So great move. Bro. Cross coming in for Malagusta. It's a great move. What the fuck did just happen? No, this oh. has to... No, 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 no. Oh. Crystal is just class, boy. No, don't Malibu tell me. Don't tell me. What class. has happened? What? 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 Malibu what has happened? What a cross. There? That was a beautiful cross from... What? What oh happened? My days. The ball what happened? Head, what happened? Lads, what happened? I, I just saw Gusto with the cross and then I see the ball... Uh, pa- pa- Pats and Daka carrying the ball to the halfway line. What just happened? My goodness. But this is getting a kiss from Sanchez. What's going on? I Why is Sanchez kissing this assi? He, he passed the ball in the net. To, to pass, uh, pass back to Sanchez and then they pass it on to the, to the goal, man. That's so... Oh so my. Gusto throws it in. This assi has the ball. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is, you know, you know like these YouTube clips which say the ridiculous own goals is one of these. Oh my god. Wow. That's actually a streamer, you know? What, what, what Lads, what did I just see there? Inexperience. Wow. Now imagine if, if Palmer didn't score that goal and this happened. Oh my God. But even then, like, it just... I mean, it's... Unnecessarily, we're in this situation now. Where, where you know, Leicester are just one goal behind. That's oh the history God. of the of the Chelsea under the new ownership. This is what I mean. And he, he's our... Where are everyone now that was telling me, nah, this is the real... Do-. I said, calm down. I said, calm down. He's our Where's most everyone? experienced defender after Silva. I think we should Where? get Thiago Silva on as well. I mean... But I've been saying, I, I still believe Thiago Silva is the best. I, I know, I know he's got flaws. I know we can't play high line, this, that, the other. But have we stopped leaking goals since Thiago Silva has gone away? Have we stopped leaking Not really. goals? No, the only thing we have is just a higher line. That's it. And what's that high line done? Like, you know, I'm not really sure whether it's really made a mad impact or something like that. No, I haven't. It's we just... still play basketball game anyway. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, unnecessarily, we've invited. <gasps> oh my days! Oh, we just made this game interesting for no reason. We made this game interesting for no reason. 
Uh, how much of that that first half, all of those chances are going to bite us now? We should have been 4-0. Why can't we close yeah. games? Why can't we close but, games? But TC, bro, you never told me we were going to concede like that, but... <laughs> Shot! Oh, if we just scored, the opportunities we got, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be bothered. <sighs> so upset, man. But unnecessarily, just put ourselves in this mess. I, I just hope we don't sit back now, and we still continue attacking. If we sit no, we back, then to. they'll get a fluke goal out of nowhere. No, no, no. We have to. We have to keep going. We have to keep yeah. going. Get that third, fourth, fifth. Yeah. Because we don't know what damage we can do to ourselves. I mean, if we sit back, we are definitely going to concede. We have to keep attacking. Nah, we ah. can't sit back. This is not a game to sit back. No, especially not, not at Stamford Bridge. No. I feel so and bad. Especially against a team that, look, we, we, you can see we are the superior team here. We need yeah. to take take it to them and just win this game. That was mad from this RC, man. Wow, that was... That was some next level. That was some next level, like self destruction. I really feel so bad for the match going fans. Like you really spend you, you spend your money on this. Huh, I feel so bad for you. A, a question: Is Trevor Chalabert that bad compared to Dzassi? No, he's bro. Actually, no way. Ba no way. Bertram, I'm gonna say something to her, and I'm gonna say something to the entire panel and to the live chat. When we bought both um, uh, Badi Shil and Desasi, I look back in my previous videos. I said we are looking to get rid of Chalabar, but is he any worse than any of these players? I said that he's, if anything, he's probably better. Exactly. And I also you, you, said, and exactly. I also said Chalabar is still improving. He's not like someone who's like yeah. the bee's knee yeah. or anything like that. He's not he's like the better. greatest. No, one but, thing that I hate. Yeah, you, you, go on, miss. Go on, miss. Sorry, bro. But he's better than Desasi and and, uh, and um, uh, Badishu. Andre. Yeah, one thing that I hate about our fan base is Chalabar's revisionism. Because he had this record where for 30 starts, we did not lose a game whenever he started. Yeah. yeah. No one can tell me that anyone, if that stat is a bozo gene. No, you cannot tell that to me. I, w I was Bro. shocked when we were linked with Disasi. I was shocked when we were linked with Badia. I also tweeted the same thing. Chalaba is, way, is miles ahead. He's but, miles but you ahead. know what? The, the, uh, the entire fan base was telling me, Badi Shu, Benoit. They tell me Benoit. <laughs> They're Benoit. New Toy <laughs> Syndrome, bro. Who's this, bro, Benoit? The flashy Toy Syndrome. If it's not Chris Benoit from WWE, then I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <gasps> bro, they're going to score, man. They're going to score. Yeah, I'm they're just waiting. Score. Play and play and play. They're going to mm. score. Mm, we gave them life for no reason. I would come actually, on, come on. I, would say I mean, this is, this is just like the Arsenal game. We were 2-0 up and then something crazy happened. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, yeah, It's like that Arsenal situation. It all, with Sanchez. it all started with Sanchez. Yeah. But yeah, guys, I, I would actually say... I don't know. I, I don't think the back line is confident when Sanchez plays. They look a bit more confident when Petrovic plays. Actually, yeah. that's true. That is true. That's actually true. That's, actually, that's true. actually true, yeah. I agree with that. But then again, nothing excuses for that Gusto, Desasi man. horror show. Gusto, like, he is literally re <sighs> What a tackle from Mala Gusto, bro. What a champ oh, what a one-touch play there. Mala Gusta is next level, bro. This team is I'm, I'm, so sick. I'm worried in one two, season, one, two season, Malo Gusta is going to be on Real Madrid's tracker. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, two seasons. Sure. If sure. we don't yeah, get to sure. football next season, yeah. he's going to Real Madrid. Bye bye. And, and you know, our owners, if they get a 100 million bid, they'll sell. Yeah. And, and I don't think Madrid would mind play, paying like 80, 60, 80 million because. No, of course they won't. They are money. And he's a Gina, super talent. Yeah. He's just 20. So, yeah, and, and we only bought him. How much did we buy him for? We bought him for cheap. 35 yeah, million. Like 35 million. Yeah, 35 or 20. Cheap, I thought it was on yeah. 20 ish or something like that. Yeah, I thought it was 20 ish as well. Like it's, it's 35 million, actually. It's 35 oh, million. It's still, it's still a bargain, though. 
It is a bargain, man. It is a bargain. Do you know what? It does pose a question as to what we're going to do with Rhys James when he comes back. I'm you know? starting to think maybe Rhys James should play center back. You know, the best solution for this team is three at the back, bro. We yeah, have all the tools. I actually said it. Rhys James should play RCB. You really we have all the we have all the tools. We have all the tools for three at the back right now. I, yeah, I wish do. I wish we could just get someone who's astute. Someone like again, my delusion, my delusion is coming in like TT. TT does not sound bad now. TT would have TT would have loved this. As in with gusto, oh my god, oh my whole day, oh my days. This is an ideal team for him. By the way, how's um, Leicester getting away with all of these tackles, man? How, how's none of them getting a yellow card? They're just literally jumping in. I don't know, but how is Leicester playing the ball like this? They're just bucking the ball all around. <sighs> they got their no, they, now, they've, been doing that, they've been doing that since the first half. They've been doing that. Uh, they've been doing that since the first half. If you if you no. actually paid attention, even what's yeah. this guy, D- Dewsbury Hall? Yeah, but like not like he's this. been playing really well. No, but not like this, but like oh. these guys be playing like this ticker taka in Stanford Bridge. Like, do these guys have no shame? Like, do we have no shame? Have you forgotten this, this is the this, second half? This is this is what happens when, you know, for no reason we gave them a goal and now they feel they feel energized. That's they a feel bad energized. That's mm-hmm. a they they have nothing to lose though. So fuck. Wow. Okay. Uh, again, the ball giveaway. Like, the amount of times we give away the ball, man. Like, lucky Bro, we got a free kick. Well, and DB. And DB. That's a yellow card. That's a red card, mate. Look how high that is. <sighs> yeah, you know, that's a minimum yellow, if not red. Oh, I know he didn't go no, hard out. High wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. I find it. Oh my god. Is is there VAR? Is there VAR? Nah, no, no VAR. No VAR. A fan is storming into the pitch. Oh, like, see, oh boy. Oh, what the? Bro, stop they the they, game, they should protest like this, you know, against uh, recruitment policy. Someone running onto the field and shouting like that. <laughs> the fan just ran in thinking, you lot made this game too interesting. I'm, I'm running in. I'm running in. This should have been a. Easy three, four new. And now we can't even bring our young players on. No, we can't. Oh, go ahead, Madrid, please. But how many young players do we have in the bench, though? We have Washington. We got. Uh, we only have two Charles. places. We only have yeah, two, we... two places. Oh my in. God! What a pass, bro! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Madrid. Oh. Mudrik's been good this game. Mudrik has been good. This Mudrik, game. has been good, man. Mudrik has been good. I, I just hope that he keeps getting the consistency. Like, doesn't now get dropped again once the international break is here. Like, you know. Oh, it's too good. No, don't, don't, don't tell me, don't tell me, do not tell me, do not tell me it's going to be two two. Do not. That's not. I don't think it is. <laughs> Hamza Chaudhry has the ball. What a strike! What a strike! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh are, my God! Are of course. No, 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 no! F this, bro. F this. I can't believe this, man. I can't believe this. I can't believe Chelsea, we're guys. in this situation, man. Typical I can't Chelsea. believe this. This is we've, just like we've literally yeah. just we've literally said to ourselves, you know what? I'm a, you know what? I'm a, I'm a f myself. I'm a put I'm a put the thing up my ass. <laughs> what a strike! Oh my what God. a strike! We've literally just, what did I just watch? killed ourselves. Now, Sanchez has got the kappa gene, bro. He makes a strike look good. Wow! What a strike! I don't understand. But, Why don't but we, we, we all predicted this, right, lads? We all said the goal coming, yes. goal coming. Yeah. We the look shaky. Coming. We look shaky. And what coming. a strike. Oh my God. What a strike. But that's so poor from Caicedo. <sighs> that's so poor from Caicedo. Caicedo should be doubling up on that side. Or Palmer. Palmer. What's he doing? So, again, how many of you still don't believe Poch has a hand in all of this? He does. Of course he does. 
Of course. A hundred percent. That's why I still don't understand why people get carried away with one and two wins here and there. He does. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I said it before yeah. and I'm saying again, uh, tactics is definitely the issue. But uh, I don't think it, at this point, uh, it's no use talking about Poch's position. But, but, then, but, but, then same, but then at the same time, I really do sympathize with Pochettino. Because when you have this guy, Raheem Sterling, missed two clear-cut opportunities, we should be 4-2 and we should just be chilling by now. Exactly. Yeah. Also, but at the that time, mistake we'll, we'll from it. Desassi, was he? What was he thinking? What was he smoking? Is he That's not aware? Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't want to see any pot slander because what this game tell me he coached a four 0 win, bro. This is Look, like brain dead activity. Uh, this is what I'm gonna say. This is what I'm gonna say. I, I think everyone here understands Poch is not capable at the highest level to compete. He's not capable, and tactically Definitely. he's inept. But True. this game, if we just look at this game. But what else is he meant to do when Raheem Sterling is missing penalties, when he's missing 1v1 chances? What's he meant okay, to me, do? Means, let me, let me go in there. Under yeah. Mourinho, under a pep, Palmer takes that penalty, not Raheem Sterling, number one. That's true. That's true. And that That's is true. on the manager because you know your manager no. can, can um, do I, things to you. I, I and, and, and there's, and there's the, reports from Nizar Kinsella saying that the manager actually had, he, the, the, there's no designated penalty taker like that's exactly. mad yeah i now disagree. it's a different <sighs> thing no just hold on it's a different thing sure. if you're winning two nil or three nil and then you decide to change the penalty taker this game it was to put the game to bed you would most likely go for your priority taker that that's my own argument that's for number um, one no i, I get no, um, yeah i get yeah sure sure no no go for it go for it uh i get you what you're saying but i disagree with that because number one um look at the captain it's the captain's duty because you cannot expect potch to go on field and ask sterling to not take the pen gallagher is responsible for giving yeah the but ball. who put gallagher as captain as exactly well, who, put, who, put, who put gallagher as the captain and you must have given the instruction before getting into the see your demeanor as a coach or as a leader says it all and passes it on onto the team even when you are not there you can't just take laws into your hands for example, they're gonna score. So if, they're gonna score if, again. If, if, if it was they should take the initiative, bro. I, I personally, I don't see that sports fault in my opinion. I like hear I what said, DOF is saying. I think what DOF is trying to say: these things should be hashed out before the match. Hundred like, percent. This should not be a confusion within the match. Who wants go on Sterling? Yeah, of course he's gonna take all this time. We get the rush right now. No, if, it, if if it was three uh, nil, if we were uh, three nil up, and then of uh, course you did that, that's a different no. story. Now, with Disassi, you know that you can't make certain passes. This this is still... Disassi is erratic, no, no doubt. But that was Sanchez, Disassi, wayward from both of them, to be honest. You don't just make a pass, that kind of pass, without being sure of where your goalkeeper is. You don't just do that. And then that comes again from awareness, from everything. So, for me, it's on the players and it's on Porch. I don't, I don't, I'm not excusing Porch at all. Because, again, the second half, how come we're this again? Compared to the first half, I'll come here, bro. I hear you. I hear what you're saying, bro. I, look, I'm not here to defend Poch, bro. I, I'm really not because I don't really like the guy. But I, I was yes. more looking at this game in the sense that we've done enough to put this game away. But they, once again, we've self-destructed. But I have to ask the question, Desasi, you're right, DOF. Like, what was said in the halftime for Desasi's mind to just disappear? Where's your concentration? How could you? Because that event, that event triggered something different in the match. As soon as Desasi, you know, allowed for that own goal, it tri- look, oh look, look God. at Leicester, look at Leicester, look at them now, look at them now. They're all That's over us. We're done. We're done. They're, they're all over us. Now. Yeah, we are. We are mentally. We are mentally. We're done. finished now. We are mentally they are done. all over us now. They're running us ragged. They are physical. They are absolutely buzzing, bro. No, this is where experience is needed. Now let's hire more youngsters. You know, two hundred twenty-three players in each position. Idiots. Rajo Park, thank you so much for the super chat. The ban showed Sterling penalty missed. The guy gets more cover from media and Chelsea PR machine, but anyone with eyes can see who he is. How we, how are we going to get out of this, man? I, I, I'm 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 not feeling it anymore, man. I, f- I feel like Leicester's got a foothold now on us. How we get oh. ourselves into this mess, bro? 2-0 up. That's ridiculous, man. That's disgusting. 2-0 up. 
I'm going to keep on saying it. When you have these chances and you don't put them away, it's just in a matter of time when the other when the other side makes their chances and now the game is a tie. And now it's like a 50-50. If what did Alhambra me... say? What did Alhambra say before the match as well? This is not your typical championship team. This is really, yeah, really a mid-table Premier League team. It's a mid-table team, and we all know it. We all know Leicester it. have enough Premier League players in their team. More Premier League experience than our team, to be honest. Hundred percent, hundred percent. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely no doubt about that. Auto Dynasty Car Sales, thank you so much for the super chat. Even if we win, I'm sick of Poch. Sterling, Sterling, and Sanchez, criminal, 67 minutes, no subscription. This is so true, man. This is why I keep saying to everyone lately, I can't get excited about Chelsea wins anymore. Like, even if we end up winning this, I, I'm going to be like, what yeah, was that? It's just, it's just a win. Yeah. But at the it's same time, we, we, don't, we don't win convincingly. Like, we never win, like, oh, we played good for 90 minutes, like, we had the game the whole 90 minutes. No, it's just like, oh, we had the game for 70, and then we just fell. Like, we can never just play for 90 minutes good football and just hold the game, control the game, score goals, and go home in peace. We always want problems. No, we always we need problems. to play this type of basketball type of game, you know, rebounds, and then you kick it out, and then you, you get a fast break, you score, and then we sleep, and then... They put a ball in behind, and now it's 1-1. Yeah. We know this. It's like this every single goddamn game. Every single goddamn game. Look they at us, bro. Look at us. No control in our game, man. Look at us just give away the ball to the opposition. Like, just willy-nilly, no pressure, give away the ball. He's completely free on the right. Oh, my Oh, God. look at this guy. Look oh, at this guy. God. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Dewsbury Hall, all by himself. What's the point? Oh my days. Oh my god. Oh my god. I swear to God. Valen, thank you. Oh, so go, much on, go, Jackson. go on, Jackson. Go on, pass. Come on. Pass come on. Pass. Come on, Jackson. Come on, Jackson. Come on, Jackson. Come on, pass. Pass that's him. A oh, that's a pen. 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 He should have passed it, bro. Is, is that I a pen? I swear to God. He if I see pen? Raheem on this pen, if I see spelling on this pen, Oh wow, we just got away with this game, but hopefully that's a that's a pen, right? That was a pen. Yeah, I think it's not outside of the box, right? No, I think that No, he I th if the ref points at the Oh shit, he slipped by himself. Oh my goodness. No, 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 don't don't tell me. No, 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 he got tapped. He got tapped. He got tapped. He got tapped. There's no VAR in Oh yeah, he got tapped, yeah. I just saw another <gasps> angle. Oh. oh, did he get tapped or did he fall by? No, he didn't. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I think he tripped on himself. Oh. I think he tripped. Hey, he on himself. Himself. How, How is this even possible? He tripped oh on himself. my goodness! He tripped on himself. He man. tripped on himself. We got away. We got away with one. We got away. With How one. Is, is that a pen, though? Possible. Is that a no, pen? It's not a pen. VAR. VAR. Oh my god! Oh, there yeah, is VAR. VAR. Yeah. Oh boy. Ah, uh, we. It's not. You're a gonna give a free it's kick. You're gonna, give, you're gonna give a free kick. No pen. No pen. No pen. There's he no way they're gonna give a pen. It, man. He should have passed it. I look. I don't want to be mad at Jackson because he's been uh, he's been good this game. So I'm, I can't like. But he should have passed. He should have passed. Fine margins, bro. Fine margins. Valen, thanks so much for the super chat. Every second half we go to. Yep. <laughs> thanks. Oh, there's contact. Ooh, yeah, that's but it's outside, it's but it's outside. It's outside, it's outside the, box. the box. So it's a free kick. But is it stopping a clear goal red. opportunity? It's a red. It's a red. Oh my goodness, it's a red. Oh, it's actually, yeah, he's it's a red, huh? It's a red because he's stopping. Red. He's stopping a goal scoring oh, opportunity. Yeah, he's, he's the last one. Wait, is that a free kick now, or is that a pen? Let no, me no, just. No. It's, watch a, it's a free kick. It's a free kick. I think it's a free kick, right? It's a free kick. It's a free kick because it's outside the box. Yeah. At least we got a pen. Uh, at least there's a red card, and hopefully we can now take advantage Let's of see? this red card. Do you see how lucky we are? Do you see? I don't know where we got lucky. Bro, I'm getting sick we got to lucky. my stomach. I'm getting sick to my stomach. We need a red card for the opposition to win this game comfortably. Boys, and I, I promise you, we, we ain't even gonna win this comfortably. Win Mark my words. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, we Jackson, ain't gonna win this comfortably, even with ten men. No, 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 we won't. We won't. We, look, we don't even know what's going to happen anymore. Um, 
how Leicester going to play with one less man. But it just annoys me that how did we get ourselves in this mess? How have we got ourselves in this mess? See, 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 see. Now Raheem Sterling and Cole Palmer, they are fighting for the free kick. Look at this. Look at Do you know what? I don't mind Raheem Sterling take, taking the free kick. You know, he's actually done all right with free kicks. Raheem Sterling yeah, scored some free has. kicks. He has. So, I don't so what's the taking. plan? Raheem, if you want to make up for today, you better... Okay, so Palm is taking. No, yeah, Raheem uh, is taking. I don't, I don't mind either. Either one of them is fine, man. Isn't the free kick anyway? It doesn't matter though. I think uh, it should, certainly should take it. To be honest, he's been scoring some free kicks this season. I don't think Palm is good from the free kick. I've never seen him take a free kick. <sighs> Yeah, it's Sterling. It's going to be Sterling. Look, I don't mind, man. Sterling's actually all right with free kicks, man. I actually yeah, don't redump- mind. Let's see, let's see Sterling redemption, bro. Yeah. Felix, by the way, big up, up to you, bro. Big up to you, Felix, joining the panel. What's up, Mez? How you Yo, doing, bro? Felix, man. Nice to have you. Nice to see you guys, too, man. I can't... I, I haven't been... I've been watching, but uh, I just had to step away. It's been making me so angry. <laughs> I just like literally. <laughs> I've just been I feel you, man. I feel work you. And, and yeah, like uh, this. Uh, I, I fully understand you, man. There's a lot of fans that are in your same boat, man. Like they're just, just not, just not connected anymore, man. Yeah. How about uh, uh, Sanchez, uh, Disasi today, uh, Sterling? Oh goodness gracious! My God, goodness I mean, gracious me! Oh, how do Lord, you... have mercy on me! Not today. How do, you put, yeah, how, do you, how do you put him? How do you put Sanchez oh, in after his performance? By the way, Felix, oh. did you see that shot? Did you see the no, shot I from Sterling? I missed it. I missed it. Oh my goodness, Good me, Raheem Sterling. Me. Have a day off, bro. Have a day off. Have a day I off. Think he's just, I think he's just acknowledging a bookie in the stands, bro. Oh my There's god, no Raheem Sterling. Way. This is next level. Raheem I'm about Sterling. to see it. I'm really behind. <laughs> did, you, did you see Pat oh, that guy tapping Sterling look, there? Look at his kids crying. Job. Bro. Bro, Raheem Sterling make his kids cry, man. First time in Stanford Bridge you're making kids cry. Did, did you guys see Pat Sundaka say a good job to Sterling there? He just tapped on his head. Oh, my days. Oh, my I, God. I can't believe what I saw. I, I, I Honestly, I can't believe what I saw, bro. Inside that is... Job, man. Inside what was right. that? Oh, oh my days! I think he thinks wow. he's playing in the NFL. That was a field goal. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Wow. That's so true. That was literally a field goal. He went for a field goal, you know. And he went still straight missed, up. Say. Yeah, he yeah definitely missed. <laughs> yeah, the ownership is talking to him so much, you know. Oh, that God. is unbelievable. So, so what happens if it's two two? It's extra time, is it? Extra time, extra time, and then pens. Oh my god, Good I can't believe this match there is going go. That's to my pens. right back. This match is actually going to go to pens. This is mad. Is it, is it extra time or there will be a replay at... Um... No, there's, there's no, no replay no, in the... No replay. Who's still, bro? Who's still, bro? No replay. Two, two, two pens. Bro, Kais, bro. Kalagusa, Kalagusa, well done, man. Kalagusa is too good, bro. Boys, who predicted 2-2 two, two and then pens? Yeah, someone predicted yeah. that, right? Somebody did predict yeah. that. I think it was Alhambra. I think it was Alhambra. Alhambra. <laughs> That guy, bro. That guy is a genius. He's a genius, bro. He's a genius. Potch is going to say it's been so hard against Leicester with, you know, 10 men. Yeah, no matter so, what the that, result is. Yeah, of course. Coding? Potch has already got the excuses ready. He's already bro, looking he, for excuses. Bro, he's going to come with... Bro, he's gonna come with happy too. bro, this guy is going to come with, no, we ain't the same team. You know, we, we're not the Chelsea from before. You know. Yeah, we, we yeah. This is a different Chelsea. This is a different Leicester. project. Bro, he should be thinking about subs. He's excluded. probably looking at how many excuses he can come out with. Yeah, so much oh, for the barbecue. Yeah, Miss, the, the barber is coming in. I had to unmute myself. Miss has been cracking me up. <laughs> Miss, <laughs> he said I'm looking Finally, at number of subs, so looking on. for a number of excuses. Coming on. <laughs> he is not looking for subs. He's looking for excuses. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's looking at the subs bench and he's going, "Where are my excuses?" <laughs> If I don't see Raheem Sterling come off this pitch, if I don't see Raheem Sterling come off this pitch, it's it's actually crazy. It's gonna be Mudrick. It's on. gonna be Mudrick. Oh it's gonna my be Mudrick. goodness, it's Mudrick. Of course, it's Mudrick. Of course, it's Mudrick. Why doesn't his brother let Mudrick play ninety minutes? Is he in oh, case? what's wrong with this manager? What's wrong with him? He was playing so good. That's this a, is I can where name I a lot of things wrong with him. 
see when DOF was talking about the manager, I wasn't fully on board. Bertram wasn't fully on board. But now I'm like, wait a minute. Like now you are screwing around again. In game management, you're in, yeah, in game management is like is piss poor. Absolutely. Mudrik bad. is one who's been doing better than Sterling, but you yet keep Sterling, but you take Mudrik off. No, oh, Mudrik what? is fuming. No, nah, he's pissed. Oh, you can see it. Right. Oh, he's what so else, angry. What else do you want from Mudrik to do? Unless Mudrik is incapable of playing 90 minutes. He doesn't yeah. have the engine. Yeah, there is there is some meritocracy in this team. Just experience and vibes. Does Mudrik look like a player? He's happy that he's subbed off. No, of course not. Of course. Auto Dynasty oh, Council, thank you so much for the super chat. Sterling needs to be investigated for match fixing. No, nah, <laughs> do you know what? This needs to be studied, you know? I think this needs to be studied. <laughs> <laughs> this one's one for the study. This one's for one for the study group. Create miss, a study miss. group. <laughs> miss, miss. I can't undo. I can't undo this humor. <laughs> Someone do a study group here. I think something notorious going on. Why did we? Why did we recall Cassidy from Malone? Oh, but you know what? We can't play Cassidy. Because, because um, why does this guy even he, exist? No, he can't play in the FA Cup. I think he's cup tied. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 his so cup tied, how, and we just need a body in this field. Paying attention. Yeah. yeah. Why did we need a body in this field? We should have probably just kept Santos. Oh yeah, my st- goodness! Even still, we don't we don't use him at all. So look at the break. Look at the break. Look if they score. I swear to God. Okay, good. Nope. Nope. If they score with ten men. Don't, 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 opponent. don't, Benji. Don't you dare tell me they're about to score. Don't you dare. They're here. They're here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They're on a break. Ten men a are on a break. Three on Chalabar. three. Somehow they get the ball back Chalabar. again. Chalabar. Three on three. Oh. See, there you go. Chalabar. No nonsense. Chalabar. That's what Chalabar is about. But no problem. Sell him. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Chuku. Chuku. Oh, call pump. Oh my days, what defending the pass. man. The pass, Otto Dynasty Castles, Mudrik off, fuming, absolutely fuming. Constantine, big up to you, my man. Um, join yeah. in, uh, members, uh, Constantine, if you want. Um, keen to hear what you have to say about the match as well. Constantine, thanks so much for the super chat. Poch is a effing, yep, Mudrik off instead of Sterling. It's mad, it's all mad. It's all mad. Roger Park, thanks so much for the super chat. New York Giants to sign Sterling for kicker. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think even New York Giants probably should think twice. Ooh, big shot from Cole Palmer. I didn't go anywhere. Why can't... Nice. Bro, this team... Chukumika. This team Chukumika. Well, no Chukumika one's almost making the run. Own, own no one's making the run there. Yeah, no, there's, this is the thing, though. See, this Bertram, the, this is where I feel like... Bro, bro. That's Poch. Yeah, that's Poch. That's Poch. That's, that's, that's Poch. This is, this is Pochettino ball. I said this in my preview... Ball. I said in my preview, even our recent some of the wins that we've had, some of the performances that we did, none of it is on Poch because the individual players are stepping up and just doing some madness. Cole Palmer, long-range shot, goal. Do you know what I mean? Like, that kind of stuff. 100%, 100%. None of it is actually Poch doing anything. 100%. Go on. 100%. And even now, even now, the players are just playing on their, like, they're just, just they're just playing themselves. The tactics, the tactics are now confusing because, I mean, why do you take Mudrik off and bring on, anyway, let's just keep watching. <laughs> anyway, let's, just keep, let's not try and reason with nothing, but let's not try and make sense of anything. Let's just keep watching. It's nonsense. <laughs> do you anyway. see what I mean, lads? Do you see why now when I'm watching Chelsea games, I'm like, I don't like. Uh, Mids, I don't understand it. Don't you know what? It. You know you. You know when you watch this Chelsea team, you get more confused because you're trying to work out what this manager is. You know, what is thinking. You be like, but this makes no sense. And then you get, then you get more confused, and then you get tired. Go on, pass. Go on. And then, and so then I'm, you just go to bed. Yeah. Oh, so I'm what not a gonna... giveaway! <laughs> come on! Come on! Was that, oh was that my Carnage? days! Come it, on, that, that was Carney, right? That's why. Yeah, that was Chukamika, man. That's Take easy it, pass. Bro. That was an easy pass right there, bro. Oh, come on. We need shooters in this team, man. I'm so Chukum- sick and tired of oh, midfielders. Chukamika, bro. What are you doing, man? Chukamika, have a shot, bro. Don't just give the ball. Oh. What do you mean? We have a shooter, Sterling. Again, bro, it's not just about... It's bro, not just about... 
It's not just Do not play with me it. today. Raheem the Dream got to go in the summer. I'm, He's got to go. We <laughs> need how many players have we, have we complained? How many players have we complained about during this match alone? How many? Every, that shows every, the level. Every. Besides, oh, everyone. And Besides Palmer. Gusto. Besides Gusto and maybe Palmer. So the regression is obvious, even to the blind. Yeah. Bro, this um, Leicester goalkeeper is mad, you know. <laughs> It's passing a straight Oh, athlete. snap. It's the 83rd minute. Yeah, bro. It's Dude, almost yeah. uh, over. It's, it's, we're going I to extra time almost. Are we actually um, this crap? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was yeah. like the 60th minute. Another diabolical second half. Um, it's a theme. Of course it's a theme, you know. It's a low block. You have to work around yeah. the... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's well, a low they got a man down. Yeah, they got a man down now, so it's it's gonna it's be them block. on the counter. Well, uh, Gallagher would have got a yellow card for that one, man. That was nasty from Gallagher. Yeah, we, we are slipping all over the place. Roger Park, thank you so much for the super chat. Where is Captain Gallagher's leadership? See, he's not he's not a captain. Oh, man. He's, he's no leader, he's no captain. Oh <sighs> he's he's I call him the communication manager. <laughs> Ooh. That's I'm never amazing. forgiving Gallagher for the final misses ever. Oh yeah, Bro. against Liverpool. I don't care Why? how many goals he could score score 20 goals in the next and the rest of the season. I'm never forgiving him. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, unless he scores in the FA Cup final. Yeah. Why are the players down, bro? What happened? Cole Palmer shot is shot straight to the fire's face. And what what happened? Did it break his face? <laughs> no, nah, I, I guess he got dizzy. Uh, I think it's a <laughs> you can get a concussion from that. So, it, 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 well, yeah, can, you can. That was hit like a rocket. That, that must have hit his um temple area. Yeah, so yeah. Wait, I hear you. No, actually, back of his head though. It's like a concussion check. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. It, it, you can get concussion like that. Actually, that's dangerous. You, you know what? Pochettino is a fraud. Pochettino is a fraud. So, <laughs> who are you playing on the left? <laughs> I love how Benji just Pochettino is a fraud. <laughs> exactly. That's why oh, let's finally, just keep you... finally. So well, now you're bringing no, 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 no. Let's talk about this. So you can't make you bring on the Sterling it, played 85 it, minutes. 85 uh, minutes took him to realize that he's been pathetic. We are free finally. Exactly. So you take him off at the 85th minute, and now you when the scores are two, when the, the scores are two, right. Two. And what is this guy supposed to do mm. against a low block? Nah, man. This guy tactically, uh, he's no, so. No. Do you know how don't. embarrassing it will be if we don't even make it to the semifinals? Yeah, how embarrassing. And do you know how unbearable it's going to be for the next two weeks? We, yeah, we literally have nothing to play. It's not really. You know what? You know what? We are so lucky in the semifinals. There's two games. We are so lucky. So, so oh, is lucky. Is there? Is there? Even though the wait, is it two legs? Though? Is it two legs? What? Yeah, the semifinals two legs. Two legs. No, I thought it was the Carabao Cup, though. Yeah, I thought. It was oh yeah, that's only the Carabao. Cup. So you telling me there's only one game to Wembley? <laughs> yeah, bro. There's only one we game. Ain't getting to Wembley. Wembley. <laughs> I thought he it was two realized. games. Nah, I give up. I give up. We ain't getting to Wembley. With one game, even against Coventry, with that little luck they can get. No, nah, we ain't getting it. No. Nah. Well, apparently, then we're done. Yeah, apparently booze everywhere. Damn, okay. Yeah, it's toxic. It's toxic. Look That's at PYS. Great. PYS tweets going off. That's good. That's good. Boom off. I feel, in the, in I feel so bad for first. Matisse, man. I feel so bad for Matisse. He's only day off. He's going to the bridge and witnessing <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, is Matisse at the so game? Bad, yeah, he's at the game, bro. He, he, yeah, he's he at the game. After. Oh, no wonder. I was like, where is Matisse? You should, you should call him after. Oh, he's at bro, the I game. I feel so bad for him. Yeah, fair enough, eh? Bro, can we push up the line at least? Can we just push up the line? Bro, Matisse must be filthy watching this, man. He bro, must he be must so be so annoyed. Me. You must be so no. You can't. Oh. You can't advocate for this game, man. You just cannot. Oh, 
So what have you made of the tactics Mi- now? Miss, Mi- Miss, check Nini's tweet. We made tweet. of whose tweet? Nini, Nini's tweet about Sterling. What did he tweet? Oh, what, what, what is he gonna say now? Nini too. He, he's just sympathizing with him, bro. Bro, oh, that of guy, course. Man, That's that Nini. guy, I, I can't take him seriously, man. I really cannot take him seriously. Nini is the antichrist, man. That guy just. Nini. Nini, he, he, he does good content, but his opinion sometimes, I'm just like, bro, brother, what are you saying? Same, yeah. exactly. His content is good, but look, it's Lukaku and Sterling back. I don't get it, man. Wait, wait, bro, who, bro can you actually believe this guy said, I want Lukaku back? Oh, are we going to score? No, of course not. This guy really <laughs> said, I want Lukaku back. <laughs> are we going to score? Of course not. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh my! Uh, Stop giving us hope, Stop giving oh, oh my days! Oh, what happened there? Malo Gusto with a big cross, and then there was chaos. Are we gonna do a? Are we gonna do a Man United? Just let Gallagher score at the ninetieth minute. Oh, that wow. would be so typical. Three, two, it's coming, boys. Noni Madoki, you you can cross you. Rafael okay, in the house. How you doing, my brother? Bro, what's this? Take the shot. I've already. Do you know oh, what? My. Do you know what? I've already zoned out from this match, man. I've already zoned out. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's in. That's Jackson. in. Jackson. That's in. Oh my goodness, bro! What's wrong with these players? You know what, Miss? I'm on the verge of breaking. <laughs> oh I'm on my the verge of breaking. Gusto again with Wait. a lovely cross. Oh my god, bro. How many crosses is Gusto gonna make, bro? Just just going unanswered. Oh, this script is written, isn't it? She will to score the winner against Leicester. Are you taking off Kukurea? Oh chill well to score the winner. Is is Chilwa coming on? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. More, Wait, than, more than you can believe. More than you can believe. He's scoring the winner against his farmer team. It's so written. But why didn't he score the winner against them or the equalizer against them in the FA Cup? If you guys remember. Yeah, oh yeah, that was mad, bro. Chilwell coming on. Kukure off. I don't know if Kukure did anything wrong. I, I probably would have just. Yeah, I think he had a good game, though. I think he had a yeah. Good... Eight he minutes, ball. guys. Eight minutes. If we lose, I'm not going to work tomorrow, boys. <laughs> I'm home Lucky I'm us. working from home, man. I'm working from home, so. Oh. Inshallah, bro. Good one. You get that, yeah. Chalab has played three games, and in my opinion, he has had a better season than Luzazi. I mean, I, I may be biased, but that's I feel like the truth. No, honestly, mm-hmm. like, uh, Chalaba, I don't recall Chalaba making. The level of errors that Desasi and Buddy Shield have made. You, you, like, you know what it is, Miss? Uh, I, I hate to say it, but this new toy syndrome. Like, if we pay 50 million compared to someone we got for free, people are going to cover, always cover the 50 million as a. Yeah. Oh, if you don't score. Thank you, Chukwu Mecca. And that's. Oh, did we, Please. Did, we Please. Please. did we score? Please. Please. Please, Chukameka, what a goal! That's a Chukameka, Chukameka, Chukameka! Yes, lovely finish from Chukameka. Beautiful move, guys. Listen, this team is so shameless. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Chukameka! And this team is so goddamn shameless. I can't believe what we made out of this game, bro. Oh my goodness, thank you, thank the Lord. What did we make out of this game, bro? Wow. Who got the assist? Palmer is on twenty-one G eight. I think I think it was Cole Palmer again. Did, did he just see Kalei's belly? Shukur Maker, thank you, thank you for the goal, man. Like, seriously, we shouldn't mm. even be in this position. Ooh, beautiful. That was hazard, like, man. Yeah, Cole Palmer. This oh, is what, what we a needed. flick from Cole Palmer. What a flick from Cole Palmer, man. Wow. Oh, that's Did lovely, you? man. Cole Palmer, Guys, man. Guys, this is what we need. This is what we need. But we are so shameless. We are so shameless. Was How do like... we actually go and celebrate this win? No, this I ain't is the thing. Celebrate. This is the thing. I'm like, not gonna it's celebrate. So difficult. It's so nah, difficult. Benji, Benji, yeah, I'm celebrate. not gonna celebrate. There, there's no way I'm <laughs> celebrating. I mean, you you celebrate, but it's like it's so difficult. Like, oh look at Poch. Through... Look, look at Pochettino's relief. Oh my goodness. Look at Pochettino's relief. When oh goodness. Now can we actually hold on to this because there's gonna be a barrage coming from from. 
Leicester now. Oh, Can yeah, we hold on to say, it? Somebody's going to say masterclass from... Miss, we play against 10 men. If we, if we can't hold on, okay. Oh, no. That's a ball, okay? Too long. Good one. Go we on. play against 10 Go men. On. We should be Go able on. to oh. play come against on, 10 come men. On, come on, come on, come on, Cole What a ball? It's too, too hard. Too uh, hard. By the way, did Palmer equalize, have the same contributions as Bellingham this season? No, no, he's already uh, ahead he of Bellingham. More. He's already ahead he, he has in terms more. of goals and uh, assists. Pa- pa- Palmer has 21 GA and uh, Jude got 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Cole best, Palmer, that's the highest tally, right? Oh my god! Cole and Palmer, you know, you know the, the highest you know what in the Europe thing is? Uh, under the age of yeah. twenty-one, I think, or under, that's under, insane. under twenty-one. That's insane. Do you know what the funny thing is? If we just played Champions League or maybe Europa League, Cole Palmer would win the Golden Boy, but he won't because we ain't in Europe. That's the funny part. That's actually true. That's fun. The, the, the fantastic season he's having right now, and we're actually destroying it because we ain't playing in Europe. I would argue that he is, like, pound for pound, the most important player to any Prem team right now. We would be so far down the we table would be so, without him. Exactly. A, like, exactly. can you just imagine? 100%. There, we would be relegated. 100%. We'd be but burning. All the goals and assists from Cole Palmer, you take away, we're done. We're finished. Yeah, we're finished. Okay, yeah, can we do amazing, a counter attack? Can you we do a counter attack? Just Switch finish it. this Thank game you. off. Watch. See this game off, please now, please. Can we, can we go? Can, can we make four? Please, it would be make, nice four. If you get four. Chuck, make, ah, make two. Make two. Make two. Great, great. Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer. Nice, lovely pass. Cole Palmer out wide. Or ben Chilwell. Chuku, 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 Chuku. Bro, Chukumika. I Chukumika so much. Again? Again? Mm. Bro, I love Chukumika, bro. He's so bro, good. Bro, like, One touch, yeah. one touch. Oh, definitely. Miz, this guy and one touch passing and then just running in, bro, just running behind. Running and behind, running up, behind. Do you know what I mean? One touch passing and the link up. Like... And his finishes, though. His finishes have been very good. I hope he just now... Get some starts, man. He doesn't start. He Play won't. Him over to be honest, he's, Play he's him injured over a lot Gallagher, times. please. But it won't yeah. happen. Play him oh, over Gallagher. Oh, it won't happen. He w- that won't happen. That no, would be that perfect. Happen. Hey, you should, you you should, should have 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 Go ahead. That's a yellow. He, he should be starting instead of Sterling, in my opinion. Yeah, he should be Go. starting ahead of Sterling. He can play uh, that left-sided role. Come on, come on. Co- hey, hey, that's... Come on. Uh, Cole Palmer was through. Come on. That's so uh, cool. Val- Valen, thank you so much for the super chat. We got no chance in the semis, wasting time. Yeah, well, it all comes down to which big boy we end up getting in the semis. All right, if we get Coventry. Roger Park, thank you so much for the super chat. Palmer for PFA Young Player of the Year. 100%. 100%. I can't think of another young player... Like this guy, you know, all this game, the this game, it's all mad. I wouldn't be surprised if Saka won it. I literally wouldn't. Saka has had a blow, a holder of a season. It's been really bad this season. Oh, chill. Well, if you fluff this, okay, that's a corner at least. The thing is, even with that bad season, Saka still has a lot yeah. of GA, and I'm not a GA merchant, but. Like, how many does that's, he have, Look at the... No, 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 I'm no, pretty no. sure he has, like, 13 goals in the Prem. Yeah, 13 goals and... And like eight assists or something. Yeah. Right. Something wow, like that, really? That much? Yeah. 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 And even with... Teams. They've been pumping teams. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. The thing about Saka, though, this guy only, like, performs against bad teams because every big game, this guy just don't show up. Uh, he's a stat pattern, man. He's a good player. But the thing is, pattern. that's how you win the... I'm not saying Arsenal is going to win the league, but that's how you win the league. You have to yeah, beat but the that, bad that... teams. Like, yeah, of course we that's don't how you do that. Because we won the league like that, but I'm just saying if you're going like, to be the man of your team, you can just play good against the bad team to oh, yeah. you know, not show up. Oh my goodness, Madueke, what a strike. Oh my goodness, the individual brilliance. Matueke, oh Matueke, 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 bumping everyone Matueke. off. Matueke with a beautiful shot. Thank you very much. Matueke. Now it's starting to look better again. We deserve to. Oh, there is no way. There is, 
there, there is no Wait. way they. I don't want to hear this... anyone talk about Muddy Waker again. Uh, oh, bro, nah, don't, nah, don't nah. do this. Don't do this. Don't do that. <laughs> Muddy Waker is still got a lot to prove, but I have to say, look, this finally some parity in this game, man, because. There's no way this game should be finishing. Well, I can't believe the game at Bro, one point was 2 2. Um, but 4 2 at least. We something. should have won today 8. We should have had 8. We should be uh, pumping them. I probably agree with you. We should have creamed all over them today. That should, yeah, we really that, should have. There should we, be we really no cream left inside us. It should have been all out. No, Madweki, Madweki ended it very nicely. It's true. He yeah, had it's a goal. great finish. And did, did you guys see um, he was practicing finish. his finishing a while ago? Like with a coach, like a specialized coach? It's been translated oh, well. I don't want to hear it. Madwek is my guy. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> no, nah, man. <laughs> nah, it's just one goal, bro. It's just like one goal. Come on. We need to see him. We need to see him. Oh, Chainless. We need to see him. Oh, Chainless. Remember against Palace? They're so Chainless. <laughs> Bro, we just won 4 2, man. Oh, finally, it's over. 4 2, Medueke goal. Oh, my God, lads. Wow. <laughs> what Miss, was that wrap game, this game up. Check your heart rate, boys. Miss, what please, was wrap that this game, game up. Man. Wrap this game up. Wrap this game up. Let the boss is, you know, let's just all leave this game alone. Because oh my this God. is. We can't. I, I can't think about this game because we won because they got a red card. Yeah, and, and that's you know what? That's literally like, how we won. So. Before that red card, it, it looked like maybe they were going to win, man. The the tide was going against us. And um, the the point is, how did we get it to that 2-2? Two, two? Like, two new, beautiful, look like we should have been winning 4-0 at halftime, come out second half, carry doing that, but then we self-destructed, man. Look, this is why I can't feel we can't win this competition. Like we've gone to the semi-finals, fantastic, kudos. Well done to Chelsea Football Club to make it to the semi-finals. But then again, I predicted that in the preview that I feel fully confident that we should be able to beat Leicester, and we have. We should have absolutely murdered them, as Benji said. Should have been eight goals for us. But looking at this game. You tell me if we come across uh, Man City or Liverpool next up. We get we it. We get, get it ourselves pumped. slapped. We get them pumped. You know what I'm I mean? sorry, but we get them pumped. Well, we're going to Wembley, boys. Yeah. We, we got to do a, devil, a deal with the devil to win this trophy. We're, we're going to Wembley. I promise you that. We're going to Wembley. But we, we, are we, are though, we are, though. We are, though. We are, though. We are. You know what? You know what? You know what? I, I don't really care if I go to Wembley, but if you don't go to Wembley and win, then yeah, that's the thing. Let's just yeah, to, yeah, let's be just wrap it up. Yeah, to because, be honest, because would... I'm so because I'm so and tired of these people and say, "Oh, we're going to Wembley." No, just say we're gonna win. Because if you tell me we're going to Wembley, then you actually you might expect or not. Uh, you, know, I don't want to lose. So yeah, to be honest, to Wembley, I... let's just yeah. win it. Yeah, I, I would rather face City and Liverpool in the semis rather than like losing again in the final. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, yeah. I was actually going to say that. I'd rather face That's them the next. I'd rather face them next, get it out of the way. If we win, we go to the finals. And if we don't, well, we were going to lose then anyway in the finals. Like, so. You know so, what? Uh, I'm going to so, so, take City in the finals. So who are I'm, not, I'm, left in the I'm not taking Liverpool again. I'm not taking Liverpool again. Um, who, who are the other teams left in the competition? Us, Coventry so, City. So Coventry City. So Coventry, Man City, Liverpool, and Man United play later today. So you know what? Oh, okay. If Man United win today, I would I'm, hate my life. I'm hoping for a Man United bit of an upset, man. I I rather have Man United beat Liverpool, and then I'm happy to take Man United. In the semi-finals. No, I'm our really record not. against Man United is no, so man. bad, though, Miz. We, we always play, play so bad. We've been getting spanked. We've been getting spanked. But but at least that gives me some sort of belief that maybe we can do something. I know we don't end up doing nothing. There's a new city but... there, so. I, I, I would I would I would rather um, Man United go through against Liverpool, and then you have the Manchester Manchester derby again in the semis. And then we play Coventry, and then we play the you know, 
the winner against uh, Man United City. Man United probably City, City. Yeah, yeah. It'll probably be I, City I, and then know, we'll I, lose I, against City. I don't think so. I really think we can put up a game against City because it's, it's much easier because they don't like to run a lot, you know, all that. They like possession based so we can press. But Liverpool, they love they love this oh, this no. game against we would have lost. By the way, lads, um, I'm gonna put up a poll. Uh, let me know in the in the in the panel as well who's your man of the match. Um, who was your Gusto man was of next. the match? I think Cole Palmer goal and assist as well Palmer. gets a big one Cole goal Palmer with assist. that assist right at the end as well was fantastic. Um, Nicholas Jackson gets a shout as well. Who who would be the contenders? Cole Palmer, Gusto, Gusto, Cole Palmer, Gusto, 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 you know Gusto. what? Kukurea, actually. Oh yeah, Kukurea is a big shout as well. Game. Actually, immense this game. Uh, Mark, uh, Rah- Raheem Sterling is the match, boys. Is, is Raheem Sterling going to be in the contention? No, 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 no. <laughs> no let, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Yeah, Chaluba. Let's not do Chaluba. that. Chaluba. You can have Chaluba. Chaluba. Chaluba was actually... Chaluba was... Chaluba actually saved this actually a lot of times. No, I think Nicholas Jackson, man. Nicholas Jackson's name's got to be there, bro. He was all right. Nicholas Jackson... All right, so these are the four names. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your man of the match. Um, Cole Palmer, Malagusta Kukurea, or Nicholas Jackson. I think Cole Palmer probably will win this in a landslide. Um, Valen, thank you so much for the super chat. Give this team a manager that actually has a system and we will bounce back in Europe. Poch is a moron. <laughs> Relax a cohesive system. Bravo fans, see it. Okay, let me give you guys my thoughts before I go to the panel and the live chat as well. Look, for me... First of all, congratulations to Chelsea Football Club. Congratulations to our team. We've gone into the semi-final. That's fantastic. But, and there is always a but, this was chaotic. This really was chaotic. At 2-0 halftime, you're looking at a team that got battered, uh, which is Leicester. They really didn't create much. I don't think so. I, I don't recall anything in the first half. We really should have had four in the first half, if anything. But how we self-destructed in the second half from Desasi own goal and then them with a banger of a second goal from Mav Didi or whatever his name is. And at that point, before the red card happened, it looked like they were going to win. So the red card really changed the tide of the match again. And good for us that we were able to capitalize. But none of it was because of Poch. It was because... Our players just did a whole heap of madness and then uh, we came back and we won. Look, we won, which is great, but it further just makes me think that against quality teams, we're not up for it. We're not up for it. Against these type of teams, Leicester's and so on and so forth, yeah, we can perhaps somehow make it out. Look, once again, Cole Palmer for me was standout. Amazing, amazing performance from Cole Palmer. Goal, assist, lovely goal, lovely assist. Raheem Sterling was, poof, I had a nightmare. He absolutely had a nightmare. This guy, you know, starting, starting to prove every single match day that, yeah, more and more he needs to leave. Nicholas Jackson, once again, continues to grow. Good to see. Um, but then besides that, yeah, Mala Gusto, obviously, always a standout as well. Very, very good on that right side. Defensively strong and offensively. Very, the amount of crosses Mala Gusto has put in and we didn't score, mad. Kukurel was also very, very strong on the other side. He gets himself that goal. Um, Madueke was a very good banger right at the end. Some of the subs, I feel like, maybe came in a bit too late, but nonetheless did well. Some of the subs were mad as well. Mudrik coming off. Mudrik had a very good game. Um, Yeah, look, it's just... I don't feel complete about the game. I really don't feel complete about the game. Aragona, thank you so much for the Super Chat. We'll beat City and... Yep, okay, uh, nice one. Kamal Deem, thank you so much for the super chat. Nicholas Jackson is my man of the match. Fair enough, my man. Um, let's do the rounds, man. Let's go to Bertram. Bertram, your thoughts about the match, man? Your match review. Um, First off, again, I, I, I think this is a saying everyone would have heard. The first half is the half of the players. Second is the half of the coach. And first me, off, bro. Very, me, bro. very good. Mm-hmm. Second half was absolutely piss. Dog shit. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but Sterling, surely that was an inside job. I can't believe a player of his caliber or experience um, is that bad. It's definitely, you got to check his bank account. Uh, and 
Sanchez, yeah, again, um, he's not good enough. Spending twenty five million on him is just like writing off tax for Brighton. It's just an absolute stupid investment. Uh, apart from that, this has see brain fart was expected, and Cole Palmer is. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say this, but he looks like a generational player, bro. Yeah, he looks, he looks like, good, actually, man. you know, it's like... What an assist, is, Bertram, <laughs> right? What an assist right at the end as well. Oh, my God. That That's was beautiful. Yeah. That was beautiful. And Carney, it look, it's good to see him, I mean, like, on the score sheet, too. Goal. So, hopefully, it starts in the Premier League games. It gets a run of starts. Yep. 100%, man. Felix, how are you feeling, brother? Um, You know, I'm seeing a lot of comments saying, uh, don't be negative, etc. But, um... You know, I echo what Miz says about when we play big teams, this isn't acceptable. We have the individual brilliance uh, to push through against teams like this, and not always consistently either in the Prem. But for today, you know, I want to look at Palmer, Carney, uh, Gusto, Caicedo is okay. Um those are my big guys that I think, and Mudrik was actually okay, and then Madueke came in and scored, so happy for that. I want to see Carney starting more often. I don't think he will, but mm. he should because um, he brings creativity. He brings spark, uh, especially if we play against a low block. He should definitely play, but the problem is, again, it's it's the players are having to fight an uphill battle, and they don't have a system that's in place. Um, that works from the coach. Uh, and we're going to just keep getting gaslit by toxic positivity fans and rival fans that want us to wallow in this bad, bad state that we're in where we have Potch and they tell us, oh, it's the players, it's not Potch. But, you know, I think there's definitely some mistakes that are coming from players that aren't acceptable, um, like DeSassi and, and Sanchez today. But in in reality, it all comes back to the coach who sets the standard. And beyond that, the board who set the standard for the coach. So um, I'm happy that we won. And if it doesn't sound like it, I am. Because I just, I'm cautious to get optimistic because I've been let down so many times. And I think we all know that. So if you're saying that I'm negative in the chat, that's fine. But... I'll be here when we lose, and, and I won't be happy about it. That's for sure. But I would say I told you so. No, we understand it, bro. We actually understand where you're coming from. Um, DOF, my brother, what do you think about that match? It was a good watch. Um, I mean, for the New Jersey, it was a good watch because we were, <laughs> we were entertained. However, mm. as expected, we self-destructed. And um, I think self-destruction has been a constant um, narrative with, with Chelsea for a very yeah. long time. So, um, But as always, like we all, we all have said, um, Palmer was, stand, was a standout performer. Gusto was amazing. And, of course, a host of others as well. Caicedo, regardless, was also good, even though it was quite silent yeah. when it was, it was, yep. was quite good. Yeah, so for me, again, we move, but don't let the results um overshadow the reality of things mm. this is not what we should be like but then again we move no you're right man i mean this is a game yeah we get away against leicester but would we get away with the same game against city against liverpool probably not and that's that's what annoys me because yeah what's the point what's the point uh we go to the final and then we're, we're gonna get done um I wish we played a game here where we fully controlled it and we won emphatically 4 0. Then I could be like, you know what? Team's improving. Team's showing me something. But team's only showing me what I think I already knew. Uh, Otto Dynasty Castles, thank you so much for the super chat. Glad for the win. Uh, Poch out now more than ever. <laughs> more than ever. Like there was a point in the match where it looked like, honestly, um, Leicester were going to win. Um, TC, brother, I know you're happy. I know you're elated. But what's your true assessment of the match? Oh, brother, that was a five-star performance. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I would love to say. <laughs> yeah, fair nah, enough. My heart rate was going through the roof the whole time. I went, oh, man, I, I, I don't even know how what, what Desasi was doing there. Like, what happened? Like, one minute, 
with where she, on shot on goal on the other side, and then boom, it's. I, I like don't know one. what he was thinking. I, I, like, what went wrong there? I'm not really sure. Honestly, but... I mean, we're always shaky. Like from the very start, we we said it. We're we're looking shaky. This is they, we're gonna concede, and boom, we all conceded two goals in just like just like that. So. Yeah. Um, at 2-2, two, two, TC, at 2-2 two, two before the red card, it was not yeah. looking good for us. I was almost about to turn. I was almost about to say poach out, to be honest, the 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> but he's, <laughs> he survives another day for me. Um, the match itself, yeah, just smash and grab. We, we take the win, boys, and we go. Yeah, man. Yeah, we take the win, we go. And obviously, we've got the international break coming up. Um, it would have hurt if we didn't win. Um the fact that we did at least give ourselves an opportunity in the semi-final. Hopefully, hopefully the team can just gain some confidence moving into the remaining fixtures that's there in the Premier League. Benji, I know you're you were elated in the first half because we should have been winning 4-0, and at least we got two. You are very happy, but then the second half really ruined your moment. And I know you said even though we won, it's left a sour taste in you, man. How how'd you sum up the match, bro? Mauricio Haram Pochettino. <laughs> this Haram ball is horrendous. I feel like Manchester United right now. This club is a utter disgrace. This team... No, let me, let me not say team. Raheem Sterling got to hit the bench. From now on in, just hit the bench. That's your spot mm. right now. In the team, that's your spot. Hit the bench. Connie Chikwameka, please keep yourself fit. Yeah. Medrick, please keep on performing like this. Drift into the 10 or drift wide. I don't I really don't care, but just perform. I need performances from now on because after the international break, we have Burnley. So now that Truffle Fana won't play. So now that should be an even more reason why we should pump them and cream them and finish off nicely. So we can mm. be eighth in the table. Let me just be in a mm. comfortable position where I can breathe. Because this mental breakdown, crabbly-doo, crabbly do is making me ill. <laughs> this, this, this stuff is, it's not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually affecting my life. Like, you know, after, you know, <laughs> when we lose or when we play like this and win, my girlfriend, she won't like, she won't hear me for a day. Like, I'll just be so <laughs> Man's angry. gone missing. Man's gone missing. <laughs> like, I'm just I'm just so angry. I'm like, don't talk to me, please. Like, don't talk to me. Like, I don't want to hear you no more. Like, I'm just so angry. And this win is pathetic. They are, they are the outer shameless from this team. We are so shameless. How do we actually go and celebrate against Leicester? Leicester of all I understand if it's Liverpool, Manchester United, even Fulham, because they are playing quite good right now. Or an Arsenal, I understand. Go celebrate, go have fun. Now, just stick to handling business. You don't go out and celebrate and do the gritties after the game, non in my AK, and have this other comp. No, you go back into the lab, you study the game, and you go again. Thankfully, I don't have to see or hear this club for another two weeks, and I thank the Lord for that. I really do thank the Lord, but this performance, I, I will not say one positive thing about this team today. Because it's on everybody. Conor Gallagher, why are you letting Sterling take the penalty? That's on you. And that's on Pochettino too. Yes, we had some individ individual brilliance, but that's all we got this game. That's literally all we got. From Madrid, from uh, you're right, man. Uh, There's a lot of individual brilliances. That's, that's bro, pretty much it. Paul Palmer, Paul Palmer, yeah. Like Pochettino, can you just structure up, you know, a, a a plan? Not just pressing, pressing, pressing until you die. Not just running, 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 running. That's the thing. When you don't have tactics, you just run. I don't want to see my my guys just run. If I want to see runners. Let me yeah, just go to was, the Olympics. It was, it was a basketball game, man. It was a run. basketball game. It was a basketball game. If you want to have... One into another, one into another, one into yeah. another. Just go to the NBA if you want to watch basketball. You know, one man dropping 30. No, we want to see quality football. But do it the right way too. Maximize this team's, uh, you know, capabilities. 
Play Connor on the wing, drifting into the 10. Play Mudrick wide, drifting in. You know, play everybody. You know, you have to imprint. Imprint. But this manager, you know, I'm just so sick of title. He's just surviving on the job. Every single week, week in, week out, he's surviving. He's lucky today that he got a win. Because if he lost today, oh my goodness, Stanford Bridge would be on fire. On fire today. So don't play games with us, Mauricio Pochettino, because you're surviving. You ain't living. You're surviving on bare bones. There was, there was apparently a lot of booze at 2-2 two, two yeah, before the red card. There was a lot, booze, there was a lot of booze. I expect a lot of booze. I expect a lot of booze. Because, Miz, you are, you're wasting two hours out of your time to watch what? Two, are you paying money to watch football, but you're watching this. And now they want to raise the tickets. For what? For what? With the 21%? Are you crazy? Nah, nah. That second Shame half was Chelsea, actually man. mad. That second half Shame was actually on Chelsea mad. Chelsea Football Club. I expect a lot better from this team. I don't care if you're young. You can be young, but take responsibility. That's, that's what I'm doing in my life. That's what, that's what a lot of young people in this world are doing. We are young, but we take responsibility. This team is kids. That's the difference. It's kids. And we, when kids don't have a parent, it's just daycare. It is what it is, man. Mm. Even, even daycare is better. Go have a beer on us, brother. To be honest. <laughs> even, even daycare is better. We, 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 owe thing, this, we owe this season. We owe this season to Cole Palmer. And then maybe second next week, we Malogusu and all that. Because again, like someone said during the March, if Palmer wasn't in this team, it would have been super, super, super dreadful and far away. So for me, Cole Palmer is like the Eden Hazard we used to have. At, again, I'm not so saying true. he's Eden so Hazard, true, yeah. but that's so what true. is going on. That's what is going on right now. And then that's just what it is. It's a so, carry uh, job, DOF. It's a carry job. It's an absolute carry 100%, job. Hundred percent, hundred percent. That is why somehow I'm going to go back to the man. Everybody might say oh, I'm too negative, but that's just the truth. We have, we have to go back to the manager. Um, this whole ideology of we don't know who the board will get is like being in a relationship, an abusive one, and you don't want to get out because maybe the guy is giving you some quid or is just making you happy on one or two days, but you get beaten every day. But you don't just mm. want to get out. So I understand that our, our directors are, of course, what they are. <laughs> I wouldn't name names and all that. But the truth is, there has to be some level of accountability at the end of the season. This team is being held back by a lack of a good manager. Whether we like it or not, whether the players are horribly bad, whether they're terrible, there's still talent in there. You can't tell me Kani can't be coached. You can't tell me Palmer. Just look at Palmer. You can't tell me that um, even... Well, I'm not so big on Noni. I'm not so big on Madwiki. But Malo, the, 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 the talent is there. We just need something. Something is not just working from the managerial mm. side of things. So, again, the team might not be so good enough, but they are not as bad as people may paint them to be. No, it's not, man. It's absolutely not as bad as people make it out to be. Um, look, uh, obviously, we've all got... Um, different level of energy for this match. Uh, you know, of course, Benji, Benji's, um, you know, he's he's got standards. Uh, that's how I look at it. Benji's, Benji's got standards. Uh, DOF's got standards. Um, Bertram and me are more in the side that, look, we know this has been a diabolical season. Um, first half was very good uh, to a certain degree. Uh, not so much control, but we should have scored a lot. But second half, we we fully realized that this is how you've been, Chelsea Football Club. This is how you've been, you know, diabolical. You know, you can't put a whole match together. I think this entire season, I only remember one match where we put it together completely. That was, I think, against Aston Villa in the in the in the FA Cup earlier rounds, where we beat them comprehensively three 0 It was in the uh, reverse fixture. Um, also against Manchester City, the last one, the one-one, where I felt like we were in in a lot of control. My, my the the reason why I can't get myself so excited is because this performance, when I look at this, and I keep saying, reiterating it all the time, this performance against the better team, we get murdered. We get murdered. It's simple as that. So. That's where I'm like, I can't, I can't get overly excited and be, you know, 
be stupid about it. I, I know TC, TC, look, I wish all fans were like TC. I wish we were all like TC where he's, he's just fan, you know, he's just a fan. He's just loving the fact that we've won. You can enjoy the rest of the day and then uh, move on and then we'll see what happens in the semifinals. But, um, you know, if we this, draw... This team has if, sucked all the fun out of me, Miz. I just have to just take the day and just move on. <laughs> there you go, man. That's there the thing. That, 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 that's the thing, you know. And, and, you know, I really respect that. I could never. I really couldn't. I really couldn't. Because when I look at this picture, you know, yeah, okay, we won. Let's be, let's be positive too, you know. Let's just not be negative. We won. Kudos. Kudos. Yes, good. Great. But did we win convincingly? Like we've asked for a lot of this season. Just let us win once. Like for once, like 90 minutes, great football. We haven't got it for some reason. Yeah. So, and when I look at our next matches after the break, we have Burnley, Man United, uh, Sheffield and Everton and Brighton. And I'm like, so if we cannot really structure ourselves before then, are we, we are in some heap of trouble. Burnley, I expect mm. the win. United, sure, trust me or not, but I really do expect the win because it's at the bridge. If it was away, yeah. I'm expecting a loss. At the bridge, I really do expect we turn up for that game only and perform. And we have Everton at home because we went away uh, last time. We, so we, have we should really home. be winning the next three. We really should. We and should, that, that will put us maybe seventh at winning. least. We, we should be... The next four, we have uh, Burnley, United, uh, Sheffield, Everton, and then Brighton. We should win we should all of them. We should be winning all. We should be winning, we should be all, winning yeah. all of them. That, that's the run we should go on. The only game I can accept a draw is United. That's mm. the only draw I can accept. Because United is going to be a basketball game. It's gonna, just going to be back and forth. So I know that. The other games control the pace. Control the pace. Control the tempo. We should be smashing every every of every one of those teams. We should be smashing. So that's the thing. I still have my standard. I still have six. Me at the start of the season, I said Champions League. Miss you was like, oh, chill. So I was like, no, we should. Yeah. No, we can't. So now let's go for fifth or sixth at a minimum. I don't want conference league. I re I used to remember when we, we used to laugh at Europa League. Mm -hmm. And the, the first time and the second time we were in it, we actually won. And we were like, huh, this is too easy. Give us the Champions League, something harder. But now we're actually praying for the Conference League. The standards of this club is, is actually rock bottom. It's rock bottom. So I actually don't, I, I, I don't, I, I'm not getting angry at someone for saying I want Conference League but I, because I understand you. But at the same time, look at the history. Look at everything we've done, the European pedigree we've done for 20 plus years, even before Roman. And now we won Conference League. Have some shame. Have some you, level of shame. You, you, you know what people will say to that? They will say, oh, the fans normally are acting so spoiled. You know how mm. angry that makes me? Just want to rip their head off. Yeah, the whole spoiled business just annoys me. But. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap things up. It is 2.12 a.m. Um, I'm going to do the review and then go to bed because I've got to get up early to have some food and fast for tomorrow. Um, big up to the live chat. We will have, uh, hopefully, some more live conversations until the next Premier League game starts. Um, it does get a bit difficult for me after fasting, after eating. I feel very, very tired. Uh, I will try my level best to to do some uh, live streams over the next couple of weeks, uh, knowing that it is international breaks. But obviously, the news uh, videos will be up. There'll be other videos as well that I'm planning, uh, which I think we need to talk in detail, especially the low knee players and whatnot. Um, and of course, we're going to talk about um, you know Pochettino's future and this, that, the other, nonetheless. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Lastly, William, thank you so much for the super chat. Technical level of this squad, RDZ's wet dream. Fair enough. Um, big up to each and every one of you guys. Enjoy the rest of the day, and uh, I shall see you guys soon. And, yeah, take care and see ya. Bye. Thanks, Peace. 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 Peace.
Absolutely. Have a good one, boys.